Oh, there's an it's Owen, but it's fine. I'm not there. There you go. <laughs> I just couldn't spell when I was young. Dope. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are. You yeah. can take my spot after this game. I think I'm on stream next. Okay, here we go. Now we're actually getting into it. Oh yeah. We have so, Forsberg and Absa. This is an interesting match to me because Absa is probably the best owner, at least in the original eight. Oh cast. yeah, definitely. And then uh, Forsberg probably the best aggressive character in the game. Yeah, so basically this will be like a game of like cat and mouse. Basically, how can Absa get away to set up like what she wants? Yeah, when Absa gets the cloud out and creates space that Forsberg can't enter, then it can get scary. But if the Forsberg is able to stay in Absa's space, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, but right now it seems like Reese is getting a lot of this space at once, but the damage isn't really like that. Uh, we gotta swap the players. But, uh... There we go. Relatively even, so, yeah. Scooter, you know, had the, the main stage on them pretty quick. Yeah, Tipper Fair there would have been really terrifying, actually. Okay, I like that, uh, you see Carice who knows about the, the hitbox extension on the bottom. It doesn't matter. He keeps that back there. First stock goes to Scooter. So deceptively strong, really. You just don't expect that little butter knife. Absolutely. It's basically the Falcon D in this game. Basically. <laughs> with uh, the dash, especially that, you know. with the buff to the sour spot. Oh yeah. Back here's such a good one. Alright, should be it. Yeah, nice. Up tilt up air. Red part in front there for Absa. Nice competitive game for the first set, for sure. Alright, now we got the deception coming out. Nice pair. Yeah, Scooter trying to hide from those clouds. Crease not falling for it. This is a scary percent, actually. That's a pretty light. Oh, wow. Ooh, I, I missed. I didn't even kill him. <laughs> I think that was a downer. Gotta watch your DI. Ooh, you see, you can tell that's uh, not the clone there because he was teabagging. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he was just getting a crouch cancel right yep. <laughs> Okay, got up tilt. Just blown out, using nice. an damage. Okay, that, that was a good aggressive turn there by Kreese. Yeah. 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 I feel like Kreese was going to have to be a little bit more aggressive if he wants to start taking control of Okay, but now he's got that cloud in a pretty good spot. Yeah, let's see if he does it. I like this all there. Nice parry. That's really great recognition from the shooter. That's a, that's a spot where Epps has really loved to throw out that forward tilt there. And if you're trying to like jump out of that, or if you're caught buffering something, that can be a really juicy hit in your front grab. So not but, only that, but like I've noticed in this game, it's pretty hard to DI down to because the they're like they yeah. send all over the place. Yep. It's like it, you've got to really know your information. And in a spot like that, it can be really hard to tell what side of the hitbox you're on. Exactly. But, uh, cross DI crossups are so huge in this game because DI is just so much more of a, a factor than in all of this match games really. Yeah, yeah. That. Like platinum fighters in general. Yeah. Yeah. We got, uh, what's the name stage? Oh, Spirit Tree. Spirit Tree, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is by far the smallest stage in this game. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much the Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's, uh, story, right? Yeah, I think the Yoshi's story of, uh, this game. Obviously, the platform Which is kind of odd that you think Kreese would choose that big map, so. Uh, uh, up tilt up air is gonna get so early here, though. That's fair. This is a really, really low ceiling here. The, uh, the side blast zones are pretty close, but that's mostly a factor off of this edge here. It's really much crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Let's see what, uh, they do to cutting it back to the game. Scooter doing a great job with the cape there. It's such a great tool for the burn. Uh, you know, that you can cancel the cape with so many things. Okay, yeah, it's just a great thing. Yep. Pretty low risk. Yeah, and there you see the, the up smash cape into the down smash. Ooh, nice up smash into, into the up tilt. Into the shadows. Scooter's got mix ups. Ooh, he just missed. Yeah, he thought he was going to get onto the yeah. stage with the first one. Uh, I think that recovery in this game is so much harder than most of the Smash or platform players. Oh yeah. Uh, but the, the counter to that is you have so many more mix-ups. I don't know. I think I think the recovery is at least when I started playing that was the most fun aspect of this game. No, I actually I agree completely because they're also unique. There's like nothing that's like copy. Each other. And, and like we both play Craig. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing like Craig's pillar. Oh yeah. Craig's pillar is so creative. It's like, it's a huge, like, risk reward. But, uh, I like the read there by, uh, by Scooter. Okay, okay. Not quite the by three suit. Nice. And he gets the stock with the super lightning. Good. 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 Good.
Actually, Pretty I have to go play my scooter, but yeah, right. I can hold it down here. Um, I think Rottweiler, did you want to play with Paracommon too? Yeah, hopefully somebody will come get me if I got play, but, you know. Hey! Have it be on. <laughs> that Jackie P is pretty close. Yeah, people know. Shannon and Rock, alright. So I know Rock can play Smash 4. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice, nice. And Shaman, as we were just saying, will be rocking that crag. Yeah, I've been giving him some pretty okay tips, uh, so we started playing. Hopefully, uh, brings him out. Yeah, so Wildness is an interesting character. Uh, he lays the grass when he runs, and he also has a flower that will cover the entire surface, platform, yeah, it's, it's floor, it's kind of like how, what they say about Italus, you know, like, uh, depending on how much ice he has on the stage, it's kind of like determines how much stage he has. Yeah, so he has the entire bottom platform of the grass. Yeah, forward tilt is big with the grass. Uh, his recovery is significantly buffed when he has grass down. The yep. Yeah, the recovery mix up is so much harder to deal with when he only gets his grass down. He's the too, right? Yep, get power. It's like base option. It also gives him more speed, so if he can't reach your normal when he's running, he just beats dash and catches that tech speed. Yeah, so Bonus is uh, just still a fairly new character. It's only been, what, like two, three months? Yeah, honestly. He's, he's really unexplored. But uh, there was a out of nowhere Sylvanos in yesterday's RCS who made it in the top eight CWS. CWS yeah. um, Sylvanos's role is yeah. very good. That uh, caused a lot of controversy. <laughs> All right, Craig for Sylvanos. I know, it's kind of weird uh, matchup I say because you, know, you never want to get Craig too much space because this happens in the rock stuff. Yeah. Uh, Craig combos the hell out of big bodies. Yes, he does. Oh my God. But uh. Bob also wants to be able to get a lot of space and start zoning out, so it's kind of hard to say. It looks like Shaman wants to play around down to the zoning tool. Yeah, they're kind of taking a little slow. Yep. They're feeling each other out. And I think if you can tell that the, the opponent has cracked, if you can tell that the opponent is not ready to carry it the down beat, yeah. you gotta use it. You have to, you have to use it. Yeah, it's, it's too strong of a tool to pull not carry Oh, they both down smash at the same time, so Bono's crazy. Crazy. it's faster. Oh yeah, because it's the frame up. Yeah, you gotta be ready to DI that. It's not guaranteed. Ah! Very deadly. Yeah, it depends on what side you are uh, on Craig. Yeah. Whoa. Where's the nerve? Yeah, those jabs actually do not hit. When that was the up air, yeah. That's yeah. that's one of the things that I find difficult about Sabanos is that a lot of his animations look similar. Like, forward air and up air look very similar, and that can make for some nasty DI yeah. results. Okay, that was uh, a nice call. That happens did, sometimes to yep. me too. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is about those, those like, like like the Ronald recovery. Look like that. Yep, yep. I just feel like it, a lot of that actually depends on how you have your controller sensitivities set up. Yeah. Uh, which is actually one of the things that I really love about this game. The changing the controller sensitivities. Oh, it's beautiful. I got. I felt like I got so much better when I upped the sensitivity on Smash inputs. Oh, you got the my setup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. side to kill move. Yeah, it's really strong. Okay. Yeah, you see the berry there. That's uh, Sylvanos has a bunch of places where he can come up when he does that. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it so hard to punish. It looks like it should be an easy punish. Yeah, honestly, at first glance, like he only has two options. But he actually goes anywhere between like that left side of the stage and like one or two rows. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Yeah, one roll. Especially considering character, Sylvanos' roll is so huge. Yeah. It has to like I, I feel like it has to be big just because of how big is how yeah. wide his character model is. Yeah, that's literally why that's the given that. Okay, charge nice. smash. Yeah, and that move is a very tough move to DI. Yeah, it is. It sends you the opposite direction. Kind of like and if you're, down yep, and if you're trying to DI for uh, forward smash, yeah. you're gonna DI straight in the left. So. Ooh, okay, you lose. Oh, nice tag. Nice, okay. I had the wrong read on him. These are such tense moments for rivals. Okay, but he gets the parry in the down smash. Yeah, it's those moments when you're at really high percentage and you gotta play it safe. You more jab and jab check. Sylvanos has a bunch of tools to kill early. Yeah. Uh, my tag is uh, Neo Rottweiler. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
Okay, so what I like I like both of these bands from Channel. Oh yeah. Especially yes, yes. Endless Abyss, the FD in this game. The thing about Silvano is those he has a lot of pop kind of. Yeah, so good. I think he's gonna want well, we'll see, I don't wanna say it because they might hear me. This is this is a and then this is Frozen Fortress. <laughs> this is oh yeah, this up. is good too. This is basically double FD, so. Yeah, wide wide stages are very good for Silvanos so in yeah. this matchup because it's so hard for Craig to chase him down if he gets uh, the grass down. Those jab strings for Craig is too This is a great start for Shannon. That fair is so active. This is where it's rough for so long. Ooh, I like that use of the air dodge. Oh, but Shannon was ready. Yeah, that doesn't beat projectiles. Oh, that was okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, not that good though. Protect. Yeah. Tough. Hard to be ready for that. Yeah, honestly. Sure. Probably thought it was gonna break the rocks, honestly. Yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, it was really close. Oh man, oh, oh nice. you gotta protect that. Yep. Yeah, but he probably thought he was already through. He had started the berry. Yeah, that happens. You gotta be ready for it, man. It's uh, like Savannah. Oh, he gets one hit the down B. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, I actually have a really hard time getting that input, the down B on the platform. I almost always do that. Well, there we go. Oh, man, I don't blame the worst. <laughs> Nice the floor. Actually, the floor is plants. Yeah, yeah. First time we see the hollows. Oh, I love that combo. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff shot, Roger. Uh, if you don't know, the second hit is actually more popular than the first. So it's beneficial to actually miss the first hit. Yeah, it, and if it auto-linked, that would be absolutely broken. But oh, yeah. you have to time it like that, <laughs> that makes it a, Ooh, a lot more like skill based. Ah, uh, rough but, boards, man. Yeah. And, uh, All right, Shaman Shaman takes it. 2 all. Go play? Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. Alright guys. Alright. We're going. Testing one, two. Okay, I'm back. This is Shaman again. Oh, and so. Gotcha. Oh, there's a D and Dude, man. Oh, yeah. You can just have a simple tag, Dakota. <laughs> you don't even play DK. You do play code. But yeah, so we're gonna have DK Doodman's Ori versus Vandio's Raster. Um, I've actually never seen this played out before outside of like me uh, matches on my side. So that should be pretty interesting. I have a feeling they're gonna end up on Rockwall. But we'll see. But yeah, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in. Uh, gummy, get, gummy Smash, excuse me. Gummy Smash. Um, you're doing a great job streaming uh, this tournament for us. We really appreciate you coming by. Looks like my prediction's coming through so far. Um, I feel like both these characters like just want to enjoy like the really tiny walls or like glass on the side. So we'll see. But yeah, both of them want to just combo the, the hell out of each other uh, horizontally. Yeah, so if you end up on uh, Rockwell, that's yeah, ridiculous. And so 
let's see what these uh, players mean for real quick. Rasser immediately bring out his uh, bear stream. Pretty sure I'm gonna miss the name half okay. <laughs> Oh god, I and then that's what I was talking about. They both want the stage, but they can both just like kill off the side so freaking quickly. Like it it's insane, really. Let's see, Rasser's getting his own combo, but uh he can do man immediately jumps out of that. He gives Bandy a little bit of his own medicine back. So as a uh Ori player, Dicky Dimin doesn't really sign too much. So we'll see if that comes into play. Oh, oh, nice attempt to get up to the space is not accurate. Bandio committee to a down here, that's not very safe. It's back to the count uh stage mode. Dicky Dimin's off stage also comes back immediately. And uh over is basically reset neutral here to come back up. Rest there, he's uh, trying to get back to stage, having a little bit of difficulty. Because Ori is just so cool, though. Fast baller, really fast in general. And he can throw out the uh, side, and that's going to project out. Oh, committing to that smash attack gets to kill himself. That strong attack, excuse me. Ooh! Oh, he almost did it to completely. Now, nice board strong. Strong forward, he's dealing it. Sealing the first dot. Making this game competitive. Let's see if Vandio can take one more real quick. This one has to be quick, we have uh, to get to stay in this set. Okay, first game going to DK Dude, Manzori. Hey, Nero, commentate with me. So? He's gonna talk in an Irish accent and offend my ancestors. <laughs> well, guess what? They're my. Oh, is this on? It, it is on. We just don't have audio. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, they're my ancestors too. So deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, DK Dude Man's rushdown style is just so difficult to deal with because of the speed of war. Oh, yeah, especially if you don't have any need to like hit, take an attack or two, you're just gonna die immediately. Like I kind of predicted them going to rock wall because I figured he just wanted to hit him off the side. Of yeah. Yeah, the nice thing for Raster is he does have a lot of jumps to uh, just kind of stall out or you. And see, like that right there, just jump a few times, boom, oh, yeah. gone. That's how it works. So we were discussing this uh, DK Dude Man here on this uh, the other day. Yep. And like, DK Dude Man seems to be on his game, like, really, really solidly 90% of the time. Yep. Just so when he gets into that 10%, um, yeah. it's whether he can, like, recover from, like, a slight, like, yeah, input that's... error that, like, costs him the stock or yep. some silly interaction. Let's see what Vandio does with this lead. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a good job of keeping it right now. Just ooh, racking up damage safely, not really overextending right now. I feel like this is a pretty good save for Raster, too. With all those oh, jumps, yeah. like, it just... Yep. That's, like, recovering from such an easy move. Yeah, and even if he gets sent off, you have time to throw out your tornado slipstream. Yeah. What was that, what it's called? I was calling it, like, a, like a, well, a curve. I don't know. I have no idea what it's called. Yeah, I call it tornado, but... One of these behind us is some stream, and uh, that is unfortunate. I guess one good SD deserves it. Oh yeah, and I mean, I mean, to be fair, it's still a competitive game. So. Yeah. Much better than game levels for Vandio. Yeah, the problem is, Vandio really didn't need that to happen at this point, because now he's got to take the stock off quickly before DK Dubain runs away with it. Oh yeah, basically. Oh, I was waiting for it right now. Uh, 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 I was waiting for the FB read of Vandio, but it didn't come out at all. Vandio actually didn't see the yeah. I feel like part of it is he's a little worried about the punish of Amori if he misses. That's true. Which is why, like, I would be feeding for a parry, like, bait him into a situation yep. where he's gonna throw something predictable. Yep. Oh, another oh, SD. Yeah. Well, let's see who SD's left. Yep. There's an hole. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good DI out to get out of that. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's the nice thing about Razor. It's like, you don't really have to worry about losing your entire recovery just because you DI out. Vandio let uh, DK Dude Man get the stage for free, basically, there. Oh! oh that looked oh, wow. meaty, but he was like at 40, so... Yeah. Those oh, were only God. bird wings he's hit, but... Yeah. 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 No, yeah, it just seemed like... It's kind of spaghetti for both players at the end there, but no, DK Dude Man, uh... Puts his hard hat back on and takes care of business. 
Yeah, so I ended up getting back to that 90% there. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, now we're waiting for your uh, Super Sonic tell us who's on stream next. Yep, we should know shortly since he was uh, just entering some oh, results, right. finishing up his own match. I'm gonna pull up the break. Pulling an Amiibo King entry in his own turn. Oh, I'm, uh -oh. Right. I'm back on stream. Okay. Good luck. Crack ditto. Chuck rocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is gonna be insanity incarnate with two crags on stage going at it. No, let me see if I can convince somebody else to join me. Nero. Nero. That's fine. <laughs> okay. We got DK Dude Man joining in instead of Nero. Well, thank you, Scott. <laughs> You gotta put on your commentator voice, do you? Yes, this is my natural talking voice. Well then, I guess I'll put on my two! <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> uh, yeah, we should have some good fun here. Rocks being chucked left and right, pillars flying out of the ground. It's the exact dream match you want. Yeah, this would be great. Yep, starting uh, off on uh, player in Minnesota against uh, one of the best frags here. Uh, I guess. Yep. But yeah, I mean, just starting off on this match, Shaman's definitely got to be a little bit more careful with how he's recovering because Jackie is just taking full advantage of him right now. I want to see how. Uh, I want to see how Shaman's big, big sub mind games uh, work against Jackie's uh, Yep. Because that's the thing with Shaman. Once he actually gets the reads going, it's difficult to deal with. Jackie is a scholar. Man, just going out there. And I like how he hit the pillar as well as Shaman. Just to take away both options that he had there. Zombies. <laughs> That's a true mirror match right there. Perfect spacing, both of them doing the exact same moves. Here we go. This is oh, just a little too far away to hit that pillar. Oh, uh, no! Double pillar game, of course. How many rocks can you get? Okay. Be careful. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I mean, Jack Penis is really just taking advantage of Shaman off stage. Shaman doesn't really have an answer right now. I think when one Crag uses Pillar, it should uh, be able to stay there when the other one brings the Pillar up, and then it pushes that one up higher and kills whoever's standing on the top. Oh. <laughs> That'd be silly. Oh no. Oh, big damage. Yep. I'll let go of that side be a little too early there. Nice play there from Shaman, just reacting to what Peanuts was doing to try and stop recovery. Shaman might need to focus on uh, just what Jackie Peanuts might want. Yeah. Oh no, now he's got two rocks to work with, that's double the pebbles coming at you. Surprised Shaman didn't just up me right there to bring him back down. I mean, Jackie yeah, is just really mixing up his place out because it feels like he's blowing pretty smoothly from just going in and then just sitting back and punishing Shaman for trying to predict things. Jackie loves those hits in there that lead into other hits. Yep. Well, that in that case, it was there. Yep. Shaman almost able to get out of this, but Jackie just keeping on the pressure here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, big time. Whoa. Nope. That feel when you're crag heavy. I better stop eating that. I, I'm gonna be crag heavy. <laughs> what the heck? What, you thought crag was dead? No, crag's a heavy boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That was not the best decision, but Shaman definitely. Now I killed your second call. Yeah. Jam's definitely got to be a little bit more careful with how he's been approaching because 
Jackie's been doing a good job of punishing. Oh, I feel like bad things happen every time. It's, uh, Off stage. Yeah. Jackie. It can combo into strong attacks and setups if, you, if they're in the air, but if they're on the ground, it just depends on the sounds. A bit higher than that, but he's still keeping himself in this, getting some good conversions. Yep, man. Yep. Oh, kicked in the face. Rocked it. Double double. Nice. Got the down B to get the up air. Jackie's still keeping this stock here. Yeah, this is. Oh, this uh, was looking unfortunate. <laughs> yep. That's that's all she wrote. Yep, and I believe I'm up next on screen from what I heard, so... Alright, I'm trapped here. <laughs> Good luck, Scott. Man, my brother Dibs. Taking pictures of... Oh, that's a phone call. <laughs> Beautiful pictures of... Now I'm commentating with my brother, Shaman. Oh boy. I get to commentate for my brother Scott against my brother Orlando. Did my dad adopt you or did you marry my brother? Orlando's my half brother. Uh huh. That's <laughs> racist. So what do we have now? Oh, we have Nero versus Scooter. Okay. The players are pretty familiar with each other. Nero, the uh. Weird Wi Fi fiend of Michigan. By fiend, he only plays with like five or six people over and over and over and over, and over again. Oh, yeah. But he was out at Hyrule Saga. Out at Hyrule Saga, where he got pretty far. He lost to uh, the Adam Code. He lost to the streamer. <laughs> hey, this is this is not an esports stream as far as I'm aware. Okay, yep, so we, we can take some shots. Yeah, get that get that stage up. Hey, hey, no, the Swamp version is so much better. The Swamp version is better as a counter pick. That's fair, that's fair. I need to make sure people stop calling me. Oh, so I'll be solo commentating for a second. Uh, we're going to Ethereal Gates. The fun thing about this stage is the platforms move back and forth, which can extend or destroy combos. And uh, you know, right now Scooter's got uh, stage advantage. You got stage control, he's chilling here, waiting for you to get it, and then Nero got it. Seems like when Ops is running away from you, she can't get hit. It's like she has stage control. So angry that she's mm -hmm. unhittable. Oh, yeah. And then you do hit her. You're like, wow, that was great. And then she double jumps and covers back to the stage. Oh, yeah. I was just commentating this set uh, with Jackie Peanuts. It was. Uh, Karisu. And yeah, Scooter. Karisu and Scooter. Yeah, so Scooter's getting that uh, Absa bracket right now. Yeah, well, we see it for player matchups, not for, uh, not for <laughs> matchup yeah. matchups. Well, I mean, I'm, what I'm saying about that is that you should be a little warmed up for this. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, both players actually relatively respecting each other right now. Nice clone explosion by Scooter to get Nero off his back. Oh, that's uh, talking about right there, the uh, stage coming in and interrupting that combo. Would have been uh, the first stop. No, this could be a simple down smash. <laughs> Just an exchange. Oh, wow, down smashes. Wow. Takes it. <laughs> no, I, I was surprised. I didn't think it would kill. Nero must have he had that poorly or something. Well, it, it's actually pretty tricky to DI. This thing is huge. No, yeah. It's hard just like DIing down smashes in this game. Yeah. Down strong, excuse me. Strong down? Down strong. Uh, str this is an esports, so we don't have to call it strong. So. No, that, that's fair. No, that's true. <laughs> uh, it's so ingrained. I'll be the, the rival's cast in game. You can be the G pick of Michigan. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, Scooter's got a nice percent lead though. Yeah, yeah well, I mean. <laughs> See how long it lasts. I'm making fun of how Opsic can uh, get some sick combos on uh, many different characters. Ooh. Oh, that might be it. But let's see what he does here. That, that was tricky. Scooter just narrowly avoided that second half though. That almost was a almost. That, that was a Ooh, nice tag here. Good. good shadow explosion there. Clone explosion, excuse me. Not shadows are clones. He, I think he should have realized that in the back here, wasn't he? That was good. I, th I actually thought the one Nero hit was the clone. Oh, that, I thought the parry was coming out there. 
Ooh. Oh, that was really, he's been working on that. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. This is what I think what I was talking about earlier, but just like Scooter getting the Absa experience earlier today. And set and bracket. It comes it's coming in hand right now. He's familiar with what works on Absa, which generally doesn't work on Absa. And uh, he's been spacing appropriately since. Ooh, and his clone usage has been so good, it just makes Nero like have to approach him. He's taking he's taking some revenge uh, against all the people who said that you shouldn't use clones. Yeah. Except it was cool. Uh oh, oh. Oh my Ooh. goodness! That was interesting. I'm surprised Nero didn't get hit. Oh. Backwards. I hope that doesn't come back to haunt him. Oh! He wouldn't oh. have died there. Ooh. Let's see what's happening. Oh! Down here. So many ooze moments! Yeah, basically. It, it's a, it's oh, an exclamation loved... time. It's exclamation time, boys. Nero loves going for down air after he gets buried. I don't oh, know if it's the it. best thing to do, but he, he really likes it. Oh, that cloud hit both of them. That's... Oh, wait, don't roll, don't roll. Oh, no. You know what they say, when the stage is purple, the arrow is a purple. Oh, 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 that was... Oh, uh, that was a really good comeback by Nero, but... I feel like... Uh, the scooter just whipping on his period, like, cape to down smash or whatever he was going for there, and the third stock was the catalyst for Nero's combat. This has been. That was a good game. That was I'm a really good game. excited for the next couple uh, sets. Or games. <laughs> I can't say I'm not rooting for the underdog here. <laughs> <laughs> we can root for people. Oh, they went back to start. Okay, this was good. It was working out for Scooter. I respect the pick. Hopefully, Nero didn't get like a download. See, I mean, people might say Forest Burn could be the best character right now, but. I don't see how you can hate him. It's just so cool. Yeah, until his knife's in your back. Uh, until you play someone online who plays him like a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about you, someone. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So up B. Yep. Oh, I saw that come from Miles. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a really easy period opportunity. Although, I don't know if, if you up B into a sh uh, shadow if it has a uh, hitbox on that. I feel like Nero hit the scooter right there and he was like, alright, now not to work on Nero, on the scooter. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, oh, that wasn't good. Scooter taking the first stock again has uh, explosion on deck. Oh, he decides to make it a clone, so they're gonna... Uh oh, uh oh, oh. This oh. is Scooter's good pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Scooter always reminisces about uh, pre-patch Force uh, Burn, which apparently the clone is really busted or something. I think the clone attacked without or maybe without being third stage, I think might have been the case. Yeah, I think. Sometimes I hear people reminisce about Maple Seeds, uh, like way back in the beta. Mm -hmm. Where they were like Falco babies. Yeah. I miss cracks on forward stuff. But I digress. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter and uh Nero still going even with each other. Oh yeah, this is Scooter having the slight edge the entire uh, I like that he ran it back from the stage. No, yeah, I really do too. It shows that he was confident in his choice. It was just a simple misinput or two that was the difference. All these weak fairs that oh. into the strong fair. Oh, so that's the thing. If you keep DIing in on that, you're gonna. Ooh. Oh, oh no. That was... He's alive. On any other. Most other stages, that would just. Kill Yeah. Ooh, he baited it, but front, our down smash isn't gonna kill it. Ooh. I feel like Scooter's like the guy at the, the, the bull ring waving his cape, and Nero's just like the bull trying to like get in there and charge. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crowd's getting into it, it's always good to hear. Yeah, last hit, or uh, last hit. That is last hit, technically, but last stock situation. I like that he had the the smoke there, but Ooh. he didn't really plan on using it. But Nero thought he might, so he sent a cloud over there and left himself open. Mm -hmm. Nero doesn't like using forward tilt too much, so I'm surprised he's starting to use it a little bit now. Maybe it's his way of not making sure Scooter doesn't set up. That was sneaky. That was smooth. But like these individual uh, like shadow screens have been so helpful. That's it. And Scooter takes game That's crazy. two.
Nero shaking his head. What did I do wrong there? Yeah, popping, Trent. popping into that single smoke and then making the clone like uh, come out in front of it. That wouldn't have been nearly as sneaky if it wasn't so crisp. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it was. Well, let's see. Now that Nero gets his counter, he's Ooh. going to his uh, preferred uh, stage. His favorite stage in the game. Shiny green battlefield. Oh, I thought he was the first. I thought we were getting knobs. Oh, Scooter has been playing this game a lot. Yeah, Steam hasn't told me he's been online a lot. But then again, I go to bed. Kind of <laughs> oh yeah, you're a mailman. You get you go to bed early. I'm not, I'm not mailman. You're for all our storyline, you're a mailman. Oh. <laughs> Don't you dare you with me on stream again, young man. <laughs> Don't say no in improv. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's see if Scooter can get back onto the... Oh, he gets back on. Nero kind of blubbing there. Let's see what he can do now with the stage control. And he takes Whoa! the stock. Nero First on, uh... goes to Scooter again. Yeah, Scooter's on the brink of, uh... Upsetting the second seat of the turn. Oh my goodness. But it just Nero... has to be say that Nero is so... Calm and cool and collected so when it comes to getting stocks so back. That, uh, that combo. In turn, in friendly. <laughs> Starting to use the forward tilt more again, just to clear out the smoke screen. Chase, that clone chase me lost it. Ooh. This spacing by Scooter's just been impeccable. Like, it's just... He's not getting hit by anything too juicy. He's choosing the right aggression to... You know, from Smash 4, I don't know what to do. Ooh, going for the clone explosion. Oh. See, Scooter's starting to get a little bit baited by the clone. Yeah, he lost it. Until he went up in that Oh, there we go. Oh, he, he accidentally, uh... Ooh, that that was a good call. Yeah, the roll wasn't ill advised, but he gets the forward arrow somehow. Cloud pop. Oh, 30% difference right now, literally. I don't think uh, Rivals is at silly decimal, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, smash. Ooh, okay, gets the dash attack, gets the forward here, let's see what comes happen. Ooh, that's the boy. That's the boy. Oh, that's it. Yes. So, Nero, for the first time in this set, has the lead. So close. And almost had it stolen from uh, immediately, but you know, he just he knows how to DI. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's a little risky for him, though. He needs to calm down for a setback oh, to neutral. Oh, no, oh, he's really yeah, you're right. Shake it off. He's got a set reset neutral. You were winning the entire turn of, or the entire set. Yeah, turn into a, a that, was like a really <laughs> that was like a kamikaze. That was like a little kamikaze flow. He just went in there, blew up. Oh wait, ooh. I feel like that was supposed to be like a wave dash up smash there. whole crowd wants to get this up, so... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's it. No, F-Smash is really bad. Oh, get off this. <laughs> Hope for some Zeldas. So here's the thing, Rot- Uh, oh, Rot- Wow. <laughs> well, Spirit has the tools to bring this back. Oh, yeah. Especially if he gets, like, a explosion on deck after taking the stock. Oh, yeah. I agree. He simplified his gameplay too much, and Nero can just sit back and forward till forever now. Yeah. Oh, these these yeah. percents are getting a little absurd for rivals. Oh, there we go. Finally gets the kill. Oh, this this oh, could he, be he elects. Oh, oh that's <laughs> and that's he elected to get the uh, stage covered in smoke instead of setting up the uh, explosion. Which I don't know if I agree with, but I'm not the board bird made. And Scooter did very well that set. So. That was great to watch. No, it was. It was. Nero's officially the bad guy in the room again. Alright, now I'm up on stream, so. Oh, you're up on stream? So. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Good luck. We're having Jackie Peanuts joining us back on commentary. What up, what up? That was a fun set to watch. That was really fun. I, mean, I, I thought Scooter had it, and then he just couldn't seal that second yeah, stock in three. Scooter was that good. He's like, I know Nero's great. That yeah, was like, Nero's really good. Scooter was right there with him that whole set. That was impressive stuff. 
Like, you throw a ranked Edelus at him, he'll have a chance of beating it. I mean, that matchup's booty cheeks, abs Edelus, but at least that's what all the Edelus is telling me. Where'd I go? Let's see, we're gonna have DK Man and Rottweiler. So, Ori, Forsbrand. Yeah. This is a very clearly a top tier matchup, if you ask me. No, yeah, I agree. It, it might be one and two, but. Ori's tough, because you don't see a whole lot of Ori representation online, because the character's so hard to play online. No, yeah, you gotta, you gotta react to so many things, for, you know, DIYs, all that kind of stuff. Not only that, but just sign play is a little bit harder, because right. a little bit of input delay. It's super real. But. And then, you know, Forsbrand is just, you know, the beast. Both of these characters, I would say, are rushed down as well, so oh, yeah. expect a lot of action. Even if this game, this set goes to three games, they might be out of here in five minutes. No, yeah, that, that's the thing, like, especially if they end up going like Rockwall or something with yep. close range. Yep. Which, that's the stage that DK Doom ended up going to game one in his last set. So I'm curious to see how uh, Rottweiler feels about that stage. Yeah, same. Our uh, Force Bird's main beak is probably being his recovery without uh, shadow setups. Oh, sure. So. Let's see, let's see. I love this uh, custom Force Bird skin. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. And the, uh, the all black when he gets full of dust. Mm -hmm. That's, so that was actually the one interesting thing I thought about watching Scooter as opposed to watching Rottweiler, who I've seen play in the past. Uh, Scooter did not play around with us much. Yeah, I was kind of hoping instead of setting up that smoke screen he had on the stage, he was going to just set up for a combust. Yep. But, but Rottweiler plays with combust quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Not at yeah. early percent because you need the mix ups with the side beam mm -hmm. and the neutral beam that stalls. And, and, you know, the phone is really good. But it's such a good finisher, though. Really. But Ori is light, and I have to imagine that he's a combust. They end up on a uh, Tower of Heaven. This is a great new stage. This oh, is, yeah. Uh, our Smash build in. Uh, uh, generally for us, too, when we play online, so Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I know in Arizona, their default, like, first stage is uh, for sure. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, not, that's really uh, neutral to me. But not at all. <laughs> yeah, well, different struggles, different folks. Rottweiler's starting to etch out a little bit of a lead here. This is already scary. The thing about DK Dude Man, he doesn't use sign too much yet. So that that's like probably not on the table as much. He'll do like minor interruptions and stuff like that. Yeah. But you no know, uh sign though is really sign is what makes really not weird. No yeah, I agree. Like without sign, Ori's still a good character. Yeah. Yeah. I think Ori's normals are good. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Double up there. I guess I'm the four first. Three patch snatch four felt. But, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very tough to though. Oh, I was waiting for the dare there. Nice recovery there by Rob Wilder. Yeah, be careful here. Got that small down speed. Yeah. You no, know, he got hit by that light. Like, he needed that. Oh, yeah, he needed his ability to try to recover. Oh, he's yeah, 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 yep. That backer, as good a move as that is, too many active frames to get that spot. He's got a he's got mouth here. But there's the first step. Yeah, he gets the first one. He's like, he's already halfway there. And stock beat for obviously not the same as it is in a uh, match. No, yeah. No, no rage here. Yep. And also, just the, uh, the recoveries are hard enough that you really, especially against a player like Rottweiler with these combos, you feel like you can die at any percent off any hit. You know, they're like, look what Rottweiler's already done with this kind of stock. Yeah, let's see, uh, he can do make a hold on to this thing. He can do make a full lot of stage control for that. Well, you know, he, he got it right back. <laughs> Both of them are just kind of sliding off the ledge. Yeah. I think they're both getting uh, risky depending on the stock. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was an excellent down strong. Yeah, but there were like three different reactions that Rob Lowe had to make. So that's oh. sick. That almost Ooh, can't take one more that. <laughs> wow, and that was brave to recover right on top of Ori there. Mm. Yeah, like I said, we are pretty much back to even here. Oh yeah, literally. Yeah, Rob Lowe was putting that on the platform. It's so good. It's so good. I will say though, in this situation, I feel like Ori has the advantage simply because it's much easier to throw like a single, like, aerial with Ori than it is for a uh, He's back with the cloud. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's got that for sure. back there. Didn't have the ball. 
all day. Yeah, it was. I think this might be it. Oh wow, he just went so deep. That was close though. Yeah. Four strong. Oh wow. <laughs> that was percentage points, man. Oh yeah, literally. Okay. Hey, BK Dude Man with the win. Game one here. Uh, this would be at least a moderate seating upset here. Oh yeah, it would. Yeah. No, actually, is this four and five? Um, Probably. it might be, but Rottweiler tends to generally win the tournaments that, uh, he goes to, and DK Dubin generally tends to run the tournament, or wins the tournament he goes to. Oh, sure. So we have two, so like, minor weeklies. It's like two different seats in Michigan. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Cool. cool. DK Dubin doesn't go to SMW too often. Uh, yeah. Which is the premier rival. That's weekly. Yeah, you guys have a really different seat than us, because everybody in Minnesota is concentrated around the different cities. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in Minnesota at yeah, all. They're just like, jeez, <laughs> not this kind of I'm just gonna beer, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, good counter pick probably here for uh, Rob Wiley. Oh, yeah. So you saw a lot of the movement that he was doing on the platform on Power Pep 3. He, like, kind of weighed that on the weight line on the platform and picks up off that. Yeah. He gets this whole gigantic platform to do that here. And oh, yeah. his, his platform drops are really clean, so. Always have to be careful. But, if you do manage on these guys, you know, that same movement. The unfortunate thing is if you're using the sign to set up something there, it's not going to be there for the uh, strong attacks. Oh yeah, yeah that, that's what I was saying basically earlier, he doesn't use it too often. But he's been using it up to like, cover like roll-ins or like, bad landings and things like that. That was what was so scary about uh, first release Ori. Yeah. Ori, just by himself, had 50-50s that sign would cover. Yeah, and it's not, it's not quite that bad, but no, the same concept does sort of apply in a few situations. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that back hit off air is so nasty. Okay. Oh, yeah, he got the cloud. He got the cloud, yep. Yeah. About the same. Look oh, at all these oh. mix ups, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was like the best situation possible for Rao Wiley. Oh, man, pixels off on that uh, the second hit off, John. He could do it really scared that cloud out there. That would be good. And this is another reason why Rao Wiley picked this stage. Any other stage of the injuries that Rao Wiley is true. Oh, that was a teleport, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes it. Great survivability by Rao Wiley to stop oh, yeah. him. But kind of the rivals there, you know? No, yeah, basically. It's actually really hard to get through invincibility in rivals. It's one of the things that I, I think new players have to, like, kind of figure out a lot. It's one of my biggest issues, because it's just like, oh, uh, he's invincible, man. <laughs> yeah, I like to use the jump cancel off the rock as Craig to get through that, like, with the side beat. But, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, that's definitely one of the better options for Craig. Not a lot of characters have that kind of... Yeah, trying to just wait out the invincibility option. Yeah, have nice recovery there, Mike. Ooh. Let's see what happens here. He's got. This is generally when DK Dumay gets his percentage leads, too. Rob Wiley's off the stage. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, DK Dumay probably expected a wave land platform drop there. And yeah. That makes that down strong. That was, uh, that was Cake Salt's big pool in. Grand final set of smash and splash with full stream. So, mm -hmm. Clone at the ledge. Clone at the downer. No, yeah. They're so dirty. There's sign pack coming to this stuff. Most annoying projectile in this game. Yep. Shout out to that full that damn <laughs> No, I, 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 I was <laughs> one of the few that voted for it. Yep. <laughs> Crag Rock winning. Get your blood butt off. Get your Wi Fi. Right there. Oh, that's nice. Yep. So, but, Oh, that use of the clone was so good. I was thinking he was going to wait for the cloud to form there, but he <laughs> could do that probably with the clear run right away. So that was a great option by uh, Oh yeah, it's very well. Rob Weiler definitely knows how to get back to stage. Even though he looks like he's struggling a lot, but that's just... Forsburn's like, major weakness. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if he didn't have that weakness, this character would never lose, man. No, exactly. Ooh. Nice tag here. Yep. The yeah, mix up there. But now, TK Dudeman has stage advantage. All three, all three of those stocks yeah. had used that top platform in some way. No, yeah, you're right, actually. Great counter pick. So he ba immediately bans, like, the FD esque yep. stages. He wants something to land on in the middle of the stage. Ooh, and he wants to kill him off the side early. Yep. Like, you know, that would be really advantageous, because for most of the time, he and Doom Man was in, like, an advantageous stage, but like, on stage. He had a couple so. of double up air strings that easily would have killed, like, 80 oh, yeah. earlier in this stage. Oh, yeah. It's a huge difference between the two. Uh, if you're a new Rivals player, one of the things that I love about the UI in this game is you can press the, I believe it's the L button on the default controller uh, layout with the GameCube controller. You bring up the stage. Mm -hmm. 
No, yeah, that is one of the better options. But it's just with little nuances. Made for a competitive seat, you know? Yeah. Even so far, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you see. Uh, you can right get Rob on the platform. Yeah, there's a double up there, and that absolutely would not have gone up. Yeah, they're like literally on the like, opposite stage, uh, yeah, basically, in regards to blast zones. Rock Wilder can get that same thing with Double Downer here. No, yeah, definitely. But I feel like it's... Oh, oh he was one of them there. That was the dagger. He yeah, got that was a good job by getting him that setting that up. The safe way, though, mm -hmm. a lot of the stories will die trying to go for that. Oh, yeah, they'll just throw it out and just get hit. <laughs> yeah. Or they'll just fall to their death because they don't set up the uh, wall to the factory. Yeah. Ooh. It's such a good, like, loud projectile. And I'm oh, kind of proud of DK okay. Jr. now. Not going for the mirror there, because most people would be tapped out, I'm going to finish you off, and then they just pack it and you back. don't want to lose it. That's not Rob Wilder gets a 4, and that was, uh, that was a hit you needed to see if you can make yourself back. But it's still a 2 to 1 advantage to DK Jr. Oh, Whatever. Like, this corner seems pretty much seems so rough for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Really solid job by Rob Wilder getting out that time. All with the side beats so nasty, especially this sport. Either just drop with those great aerials or he gets the yeah. I like how DK Doom Man's just trying to avoid a situation where uh, Force Burns back air or back is facing him here, but really close to even again. You know, there's tons of clouds. You just right cannot now. let up even if you have that new stock lead. Oh, this might juggle. Oh, good hit the eye. Yeah, I think DK Doom Man's reading the eye out. He's gonna go up. Oh, that was an ups. Yeah, that's what I talked about charging on. So. Might have been missing. Here we go. Right. Oh, there. Oh, there. That shit. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's no. So he didn't have time. Oh, good. Good babe. He's back. Okay. He's back on the stage. We have for This is a game again. Yep. Terrifying percent, though. God. Anything's gonna basically kill from any aerial now. Um, oh, I thought you were back in the back. Oh, the wrong way. Back hit. So intense right now. Nah, that was a thousand out. That's coming out, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that might be. No, 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 no. no. Great DI. Oh! The one time he finally goes off stage, it's the crucial offstage play though? he needed. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of rabbit talent here in Michigan, man. Yeah. I'm impressed. No, yeah, we we have a pretty okay scene. Yeah, you know, we're growing a little, a little bit, bit like month by month. Michigan, but uh, yeah, how long have you guys been hosting tournaments around here? Tournaments? Probably. DK Dude would know more than me, but I would imagine at least half a year. Because like we our first major tournament was Frostbite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was here for that. That was awesome. Yeah. That was a wonderful experience. Everyone involved with that was doing a major. I think you job. got called for a match. Oh, that's right. I do have to play a match now, but. Nice commentating with you again. Yeah, of course. It's a sick set. So, yo, DK Dude Man. DK Dude Man. Dakota, do you want to commentate? Good stuff. I am what you would call shaky. Yeah, I bet. So, sitting there in winners, uh, winners semis. Yeah. Well, and my goal are going to face whoever wins this one that we see here. Ooh, I. Bidla that... and Ninja Chris. Ninja Chris just beat a uh, a Maple player. So oh let's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Scooter has to play against Thymos. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. Because they play all a lot. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, one of my favorite things about coming to tournaments like this is like, you know, since this game is so centered around the online scene, I don't get a good sense when I play people like where people are from, what are their regional alliances, all these kinds of things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's really cool seeing the story start to get told. Uh, they had the the crew battles, the regional crew battles at Hyrule Saga. Did you see any of that? Regional crew battles? Uh, Tri-State obviously destroyed everybody. Oh that no, was, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see. Tank Assault, Penguin, and MSB. <laughs> So I, I think they're they're gonna be best region uh, free for a little Wait, bit here. Wait, did MSB move? Or has he always been Tri-State? Yeah, he's New York. 
Why did I think he was Arizona? Oh, because he always goes to Heat Wave and all their tournaments. Oh, okay. So that's okay, probably okay. why. Um, British Columbia, uh, basically West Canada. Oh, yeah. Also super strong. Uh, I believe they had, it was Dolphin Brick and Allergic to Bullets and Jorain. This is another really Ooh. sick team. But, I don't know, the more that I come out to these Midwest things, the more I, I like what I see from my Midwest brethren, you know? Yeah, I, I love the Midwest. We got some o talent out here. Ohio beat Michigan and Indiana to having a rival scene. So I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like their rival scene, like Crusticus, of course. So, yeah, and also, Wisconsin doesn't have a rival scene, but they have two top 50 players. Sparks right, and Psycho. Right. And so, hey, guys, get off your butts. I need to come to Wisconsin and take your money. Uh, we got, got Dinla on, uh, on on the right camp and Ninja Chris on the left camp. What am I talking about? Sparks, Sparks yeah. uh, ruined my day at my own tournament, so I probably shouldn't talk about crap. <laughs> Sparks ruins. Yeah, he's a day ruiner. He he ruined a character. They they nerfed they nerfed the worst character because of him. Yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, they made a lot of changes that needed to happen, and now she's awesome. Uh, I, I remember seeing a meme after the Grand Finals said that we played that was, uh, got parried at 17%. Guess I'll die. <laughs> uh, that happened yeah, real talk. Real talk. That, that happened. That absolutely happened. You know how to DI that stuff? Man, I like your screen. You got all these Yeah, this is, this is sick. But Ninja Chris uh, showed up to Michigan Masters 2018, and th that had some pools, so we got to test uh, test the waters with everybody oh, playing sure. each other. And I noticed that he's he's pretty he's pretty freaking good. He's one of our only Zetterburns. Shrek kind of plays Zetterburn, yeah. but Shrek plays a lot more Krag. I have mostly seen his Krag when I play online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is one of the most like combo heavy Krags that you'll ever see. That dude. Oh puts for so much stuff and he hits most of it so so i'm excited whenever i see ninja chris uh register for an event dinla on the other end uh lives on the uh middle of nowhere side of the state ah uh, yeah there might be cities over there but this is the where the real stuff happens no sure. no shots so he's from west michigan then? no shots at west or michigan northern. yeah west okay yeah i don't uh, my michigan geography is not great so <laughs> yeah yeah no we, we did this for wisconsin too. i'm originally from Wisconsin, now I live in Minnesota. Yeah, we yell at Wisconsin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Oh, this is the story of match. Alright, get into the match. <laughs> it works. Uh, we got we got Dinla rocking the maple, Ninja Chris rocking the center brand. We're going to fire cap. First time you've seen this today, isn't it? Uh, I'm not at sure. Least, at least it's happened more. I, I love this stage, actually. I love that it's so big. Maybe it's just because I play Ori. I also like it with Eliana. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, upper strings. That's nasty. Pulling out that uh, that same DI, which is normally gonna, gonna work, but you know, just gonna follow that. No, this that was not. Uh, that's like when you're at a list no and you're mark, off stage, mark. no air dodge. Okay, it's a nice recovery there, but I'm going high. I like that. I like that a lot. Still called it or reacted, whatever. Yeah, a fire up smash will definitely kill David here, but I think he is gonna be a fire up smash back still. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, see, uh, I think I'll try. Yeah, just on this stage, since it's so big. That wave line is so good. Ooh! Oh, it didn't look carrying on. Really, completely covering any uh, punish on the carry. That was nice. It's like the little, the little things. Nice. Exactly. Oh, strong carry on that. That's, it's, it's, so, it's so important to defeating Zetterburn to be able to carry that down the uh, return stage, so it's like, yeah, Zetterburn's recovery is definitely not good, uh, definitely gives you this weakness, but if you're not going to be ready to parry that, right. it's pretty good. Yeah, one time I was online and I uh, I died to that okay. move at zero. Yep, it's end right, you were holding. Yep. Yeah, you got hit by the reverse hit, yep. Long I'll get you. <laughs> Hopefully he can yeah, take this really strong. Gotta take this stock. Yeah, he's hard to sit and not hit like Ooh, or that? That was a tether. Not ready for that. So slick that I didn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Combo. Getting the hit fall on upper one, it looks like. Pretty sick stuff. And then wave landed on. Or, wait, yeah. Oh, I didn't know if he got it and then landed. Got it, wave land, down strong. Yep, the wrap. Down strong. Is this, uh, is this a Jesse or shout out here? Alright, we're going to Merchant Port here. Yeah, I guess I have Mark on there right away. That's so important for people. Oh yeah, that's that's one of the big things about playing against Okay, that, that was a great oh, oh no! That's such a good shine from Ninja Chris to break up the, the same string that ended the last game with the SD. Yeah, it's a mountain now. The drag down. That's so slick. That's something that I don't see a lot of people. Probably up there, it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's hard to get consistent. But then again, I just don't see a whole lot of maples generally. Yeah, maple is super underrepresented character despite being I think Maple's got to see that. I'm yeah, see that. I feel like he was so high that a SDI or like DIing up would have uh, just killed him. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure how it works. It's uh, I mean, it's hard when you're in the magnifier to figure out what you need to DI that. Because it really doesn't. It all depends on which way maple is approaching you for it. That up tilt. <laughs> yeah, going for a little bit of style there, but you can. He's got the mark. He's got the mark, and he's got three stocks in one. Really rough spot oh, for his opponent. I'm oh. sure you can. That's a strong three stock for Pidlow, man. That was dominant. Still not even pushed here in winners' quarters. He will move on to face you Me? next round. Yeah. Yep. Thankfully, I made that up. So, so what do we got uh, here next? You. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, it's you and Nero. That's a good one. That's another one I've been looking forward to. Dead air because I forgot to talk. <laughs> yeah, this. I was really looking forward to this matchup because I felt like I didn't matter where I seeded these two because they're the second and third seeds. But, yeah, I was pretty sure they would be everyone. Scooter came real close. Holy cow. Well, thankfully, my friend Cory. My brother Cory, sorry. <laughs> my brother! Brother, I've got brother. an album to show you after this turn. Oh, <laughs> oh we got Nero vs. Jackie Minato. This is oh, exciting. Yeah. It just started to that. These two, I wanted to see this. Here is the best friend Plaza. You can probably see this fine. You count his nose hairs in the uh, uh, player game. Just as big as I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> but, uh... We have Crag and it's a Michigan Classic matchup. He's got a quite a bit. Of, he's got quite a bit of experience in this matchup. Oh yeah. I don't know how much experience Jack has. Like, you know, it seems like he's handling himself this time. I think he should open the pair there instead of setting up the cloud. But, you know, easy out. You know, Jack just thinks so much about his character. Who does? Uh, Maybe a mishap. We only got jab 1 2 ready to punish. It still doesn't have stage control though. The commentators put a new one in there. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Uh, why is Nero's back with that Oh, because of uh, a character called Kawakami, the teacher in Persona 5. He's a fan of her. Yeah, she's depressed. Oh. I mean, like that, you know, 
Uh, it, five, it's, uh, it, that's her Americanized name. Uh, you um, would understand it. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get it. Ooh, nice uh, interception there by uh, Oh, my goodness. That, that, that All, was a matchup. I feel like that was overkill. Oh, yeah, it was overkill, but you need to be overkill. You need to treat the crack like the piece of garbage he is. Never. <laughs> you that, stomp on him. What the f Oh, my gosh. There's just so much that works on crack. And like, you know, anyone, not many people have the experience in a particular matchup that Nero has in Crag versus S. Nero also, uh... He like, doesn't even play Mabel, not Mabel, he doesn't even play Absa in matchups. He just yep. plays Absa based on how big the other character is. No, oh, yeah, basically. If it's a big character, it's just not gonna be a fun match for them. Yeah, Nero is so consistent at those combos. Yeah, we've got small characters, medium characters, and a like crack here. Nero, Nero says, I don't care about what you want. Give me what I want. And to be, uh, just to put uh, some uh, context on this, Nero did beat AZ Cars in crack and crack it. And uh, almost made it past him completely, but in, uh, AZ Cars is so bad. Um, it did it mean, yeah. So, that's just, you know, I think AZ Cars is the top three or four crack. Yeah, isn't he top 10? I think he is, yeah. I, I didn't want to assume too much, but I think he's just... But yeah, this is basically... I would go to the stage as well as Craig. Uh, Eps has a lot of places where she'll be tempted to quick attack you. That's weird. I would have uh, thought of that as a reason to not go to the stage. So... If, unless, like, the player's, like, immaculate at the quick attack cancels, they're going to be a tuning for oh, like, a while. I've seen, I've seen Penguin do some wacky stuff on the top. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Penguin is one of those players that you would expect to be good at that, but Nero's solid. That was a great, great up smash. No, it was. That's another thing. Like, these platforms are just perfect, like, for setting up stuff for smash up. Here's, like, a whole bunch of just crack it. Wall go. Gives a little bit more play. Yeah, I'm not quite the uh, crag scholar like uh, uh, oh, Jack not is. <laughs> <laughs> he knows so much. You can listen to him talk about crag for half an hour, and you will come out a different person. Are you telling me I should play for 30 minutes and come to the best player? You could do that. Yeah. <laughs> but digressing, back to the go back to the match. Here. You know? Oh, uh, oh my goodness! That's another thing. Like these like middle uh, platforms are so fun for Craig. Like, you can like down the up and set up rock setups. If he wanted to be really cheeky, he oh could my throw, goodness! He could jumping throw immediately off that. Pillow. Oh no, he, that was really smart. That was extremely smart. Um, he could set up a rock in one of those middle platforms, camp underneath it, and then like survive for even that much longer. Well, that but he never got a chance to set that up. You know, finally got to secure that kill. He loves. Uh, throwing the rock down into... Oh, that was a good cancel. I didn't think that would cancel. I should have thought that would cancel. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the thing, so... He loves throwing the rock down and then nearing it to, to get the rocks to go, or the shards to go, whichever way he wants. Nero's gonna be really respectful of Crag on stage, because he knows... Crag actually does have a bunch of options to get back to stage, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff off of him. Yeah, he would know. He's lost uh, MSB's Crag, and you know how... Creative, that oh, guy yeah. is off stage. That guy is just like a lizard. He's a rock wizard. Rock? Oh, I thought you said lizard, okay. <laughs> he's a li he could be a lizard too, but I, I just know he's a rock wizard. <laughs> nice rock to the face. Nero's used to that, but... Ooh, a nice back Wait, how did he take that second step? I just realized he's an elite. Oh yeah, what is that? Wow. That's the thing, this matchup is so like extremely volatile. I'm not gonna be that guy, but I'm gonna be that guy. I think Craig is But it's definitely doable if the yeah, apple Which right now here. Ooh, got him trapped between the rock there. That's a good plot, so. Oh yeah, that was a good plot. Uh, oh, that was great. Oh, he, he did that against me too. I know. Maybe I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. Oh, that's uh, oh, he could have actually there, but no, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Nero's just so familiar with this matchup. Like, that, that was a tough set. 
no, yeah. This is his most familiar matchup because him and I grind all the time online. So he knows how to. It it's it's hard for Craig to make decisions off stage. Oh, uh, five gotta go. Oh, adios, amigo. Good luck. Good, good oh, you're playing luck. Dinla, huh? Good luck. Hey Nero, come commentate. Orlando, come commentate. Runes has only played one character and it's Craig, so he doesn't know the game at all. So do you! That's not a hat? <laughs> it's your afro hat, where it's but uh... I'm attacking you. Hello, everyone. Bye, Runes. Good job in bracket today. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's... Hey, you outplaced the vast majority. You were probably the highest place in Michigan PR player. No, that's not Zenodo. Zenodo. I said that's not Zenodo. Michigan sucks at Smash 4. <laughs> you did good. Yeah. Anyway, hello everyone. I am uh, Nero We Need. His tag is Nero. His, his ad on Twitter is Nero. We need. Tag is Nero. We need. No, it's not. Nero, it hasn't up. been on the stream like that once. Eliana. Eliana dittos. I hope this is. I'm commenting my own set. No, give me. No, I need it back. That's a uh, super atomic score. You need that too. Is this your revenge for me having your stuff for like half a year? It's comfy after you get used to it. It's like, it'll... We'll get some sleep, man. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Multiple sleep. Oh, but only one? I'm sure he's beating you at this anyway, match. This thing is... This, no, we have to... Okay, anyways, this thing is... This uh, set is starting. We have Dinlo versus uh, DK Dude. Yes, we have Ori versus Maple. We got the small boys. The small boys. The little falcons. The little falcons that could. The little falcons that could. Um. How about oh, little... What was that interaction? Uh, so. Actually, I'm actually. I don't. I don't. Oh. Well, what was that interaction? Is this a button? So what happened there was like a Z-Pack. Running near the moan the entire time. So Scooter hopping on to explain what happened there with the seat. So when Ori bashes the seat, it gives the equivalent of when Maple hits somebody who is seated. Uh, I know there's just so many weird little interactions like that with this character. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, have you seen Ori bashing a cloud from Absa? It's ridiculous. I think I have. I'm not positive. Dinla okay. just going for the dunks. This is Dim, right? Yeah, it's okay, Dim. Just make sure. No, it's Ah uh, versus DK. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah, uh. Dim will recover from an early stock. Yeah. And honestly, I'm curious to see how this plays out in the long run because both these players have a really fast playstyle and they're used to going up against players that don't quite have the same speed as them. No, so, yeah. It's definitely going to be interesting to see this develop as the set goes on. As I deemed it, it's the small boys. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's about right. That's about right. I mean, Mabel definitely does have that nice little advantage you can get with those half smashes because it gives her such range. And that's the thing, like, you're not going to gimp Glory in that regard. Distance won't be an issue, generally, it'll be height. Yep. So, oh, let's see what happens here. Oh, good. Good interaction. And that arc, too, from DK Dude Man there was just perfect. Didn't even land on the stage, just perfect to miss. Mm -hmm. So, I'm interested in seeing the set that, like, somehow ends up on uh, Rockwell. But this set in particular, I'm surprised that uh, it was, like, not sitting back a little bit more because I think I'm, like, the savage. Yeah, I mean, honestly, with the way that Ori plays, that playstyle might work out a little bit better because Ori is definitely a heavy rushdown. 
Whereas I feel like Maple, you have more tools to close gaps and generally outspace your opponent. Mm -hmm. So in a matchup like this, that can definitely be key since they're both, as you said, school boys. So I actually, I, I was thinking about it while you were explaining that. Yep. Uh, I think the reason why he's not using Sam too often yep. um, is because oh, one, bash. he can counter. Yeah, he yep. can, you can counter it or bash it, and then it gets rid of the sapling on the or the leaf. Yeah. The yep, that's true. So that's probably why he's like he's really not. Oh god, that was oh. really good. Oh, oh, oh. That's going way out there for that one. Holy cow. That was deep. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah. Especially on a big stage like that. Actually, I think we need to play a set. Did you beat uh, your last opponent? Guess who's my opponent? Me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Guess who's getting rocks chucked at them? Guess who's gonna break the setup so we just die and die? Let me plug on my virus real quick. <laughs> you and your wacky controllers. We'll finish this set first. Though. Yep. Um. Dude, those conversions just look so nice. No, yeah, it's just Maple in general. I'm, just, I'm not used to seeing, like, fun Maple play. Yeah. I mean, Thamos is another Maple player in the scene. It just definitely fucking worked to get up there, so... No, yeah, I, I just... I've never played... Oh, <laughs> oh my and god. And it actually tethers as This well. is, like, next level interaction. Oh, oh. That's it. Oh, oh, no, you got a fair instead of uh, up there. Oh, jeez. Thought DK did man sleeping. Right? Yep. <laughs> Oh I just God. love how Lily looks when it gets bad. It's the saddest looking animation. That's its name. I forgot its name. Lily. Okay. What? No, Lily no. or Bash? No, Lily. The, uh, oh, the yeah. See, look at that. It's oh, really yeah. like, no! I wish it had an expression. And yeah. that's the Dude Man Express right here. Yeah, yes, basically. Up there as you into the blast zone. And it's the worst feeling in the world because it's like, what do I do to get out of this? It's like, I DI out, I'm screwed. I DI in, and I'm screwed. And they're literally just taking turns like highlight reeling each other. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's rivals in a nutshell. Yep. Um, at least at like higher level of play. Yeah. I mean, you really have to have your punish game on point if you want to live at these higher levels. Yeah. Because in a game like this where one air max make all the difference. I thought that was it. That was so nice looking. <laughs> oh no. Not, not sure if that was this is the best PI, but. It at least gave him a chance to hit the platform, so I'll give him credit for that. Yeah, Din was starting to get a little bit of a percent lead now after he took that second shot. Yep. Ooh, got the rap, see what he does with that. Oh, he goes for the raw, oh, no. un di forward smash. So uh, I guess we're up to play now. Yep. Good commentate for you. We'll have uh, two more people on for you in a moment. Absolutely not playing five games of this nonsense. That's a crack main. No, we are not. Uh, Shaman has an O and seven an A at the end. All right, here we go. Crack it up. Let's throw some rocks. Uh, so, as I think uh, I kind of saw in my second Shaman, uh, one of the big things about this is that Crag is really Crag. It's kind of silly, but if Crag has no way to kill the pillar, to kill the pillar when he's already used his own pillar, he's in a really terrible spot. Uh, Sparks has exploited that against me a couple times as well. Oh, and yeah, MSP killed me like 
and uh, smash the button as well. Okay, so now you see that pillar start to drop with the rock on it too. There's a lot of weird things in this matchup. It's kind of one of the things that I love about Dittos in this game generally is how you get to use your own character against your opponent. Uh, I don't think we're going to see any infinite rock Minecraft setups here though. Okay, nice. Ooh, and he gets the extra damage with the bounce smash on the armor too, I like that. Nice attack on the block there, that could have been real nasty. Help me out! Alright, here we go. I saw that helpless glance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried to up smash it. Kind of probably was reading uh, the cancel. Oh, that was a good throw down. Yeah, I think I would have panicked that. <laughs> yep, the down throw rock is really important when you're off stage because you do get that little hop. Ooh! I'm gonna do it so quick. Oh, but there. Uh, Scott's still trying to prove that he uh, has the oh, best crag in the state. He could have he could have whip punished that character. Then. Let's, finish with the rest of it. <laughs> Let's go, Dittos. <laughs> and Sham is living though. It's like Orkane, right? Orkane's actually uh, fast. It's a little early on that throw. Still living. You get to mix up your DI on uh, the third spike on uh, at late chance like that. Oh. Let's go taunt. Yeah, you can kill me. Oh, let's go spacing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he had the percent lead. Uh, well, there we go. We got oh, oh, percents are meaningless in the crag, Ditto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Finally. Is he dead? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's Craig. Man, I love Craig. Same. That's hard though. And this is what I mean about the percent sound adding. It's all stage control instead of. Whoa, okay. whoa! Yeah, good awareness, Mr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, uh, not to. Uh... I didn't have a plan of what I was saying. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Ooh. Went a high to the dodge. Uh, Scooter can definitely make his way back into this. Spice the taunts. Oh, he's going for the throw off the, off the pillar. I love that. A lot of people are not ready for that. And and Scooter also... Parry timing. Scooter does a lot of the more creative things when it comes to, uh... Floor's burn. <laughs> Say you can't kill me. Okay, good attack, though. Both of these players forget, though, that Ruins is actually the best, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shaman says he, he remembers it every day. Shaman has taken, I believe, 450% in this game, and is still on his second stack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can we make it 500? Oh, up it! Oh no, that's oh, just yeah. gonna do it. Good stuff. Catching the DI in. People who can do just one up air and they know they're gonna DI in and they just yeah. up air, those people scare me, like you. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so this, uh, by the way, is losers round one of top eight. Oh, that's yeah, out of our 18th man them. bracket. Uh, but for those curious, uh, that's why we not start until finals. That would be winners finals, losers finals, and winners finals. Fortunately, seems we might, we might be a little spread over time. It is good to see his forward run come back out. Yeah. Put in so much work against Nero. I think this is a play at he, he did really well for his set. That's a tough match for Abs, so to be fair. But like he's he's improved at it so much recently. Yeah, nice mix up soft the game. Okay. Should do a little charge. Greg's hey, that was a good uh, cross up. Oh yeah. With the, the run in. But you know, we've, we've seen how long Shaman can survive. Can't count him out at all. Double parry, yep. The uh, invincibility didn't last long enough for that dash attack. That's, that's kind of wild. I would have thought it would. Landed on stage. Oh, exactly. Okay, okay. 
Okay, pretty much even. Yeah, yeah uh, there's, there's the jump cancel off the ground that you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. To, uh, kind of evade invisibility, which I think is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with in rivals. You can't shield when they're invisible. What do you do? You gotta get out of there somehow. I get hit by that a lot when it's not trying to make me uh, Sometimes Oh uh, yeah, going for it's gonna hit on shenanigans there. Not quite. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Condition. Yeah, the hitbox doesn't extend that far, unfortunately. But up smash is out for shaman. Up, up smash is cave might actually be near the same way. Yeah. Oh, the hitbox extended on the clone! Oh, no. And the pawn! Okay, Shaman with the lead here, game two. Oh my goodness, and down be humble. Oh, okay, okay. That did it! Yeah, and the he shards! Did it too. Give him that taunt! <laughs> fair train, not gonna do it on this stage. It's probably the toughest stage to get fair train on. Yep. At least to kill. Oh yeah, dare gosh. up smash, not yet. We've seen a bunch of big beefy options here. No one's scared of anything. He's gotta be careful with his rock bolts, but he does need that rock to be neutral tool. Uh oh, Scooter's in a tough spot here. Yep, oh, that's it. that's it. Good stuff from Shaman. He will be moving on to his quarters. The play gets All right, I gotta, I gotta do the thing. Yeah, again. good luck, man. Yeah, what, what happens if I, if I did all this and then lose to you? Rickles, a uh, beloved member of the Chicago Smash 4 scene. Man, I, I have loved this tournament. <laughs> There have been such good sets. Good sets are always full of great sadness. Oh yeah. But that's when you know uh, the tournament's delicious. Oh yeah, you need salty that delicious victory for her. Uh, uh, Abe? Uh, E-I-G-H-T-A? I think so. Yeah. It's a bad word. Why are we using the Eight. word eighth anyway? English sucks. Oh, okay. Oh. It's a long cord, but not when I step on it. Nope. I don't know, you were just trying to get me to lower my head a little This is another one of the big matches that I wanted to see. Oh yeah, definitely. Although, uh, with my seating, it wouldn't have happened uh, if, had I not upset. But, yeah. but you know what you want to. Did what you this. had to do? Yeah. Either we'll have a nasty crag out, or we'll have a nasty floors burn out after this set. So, it's a win-win for America. Let's see if uh, Rawell is explosive this. Oh, oh my god! That was technically a zero to die. Uh, you, you, you can say that. So let's see how uh, Rawell comes back from that. Uh, level 9 free. Let's see. Uh, you know, Rawell is an explosive player. Oh, yeah. You gotta be explosive to play Rivals Cabinet. And Forsberg. Yeah, Gosh, Forsberg. I love Forsberg. I love Crack. Is there a fair key, though? Catalyst. Okay, that's fair. Touche, yeah. I can't wait till we ban Adolf and Rawls like 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Jack is off stage, let's see what he does here. Oh, he's oh, doing a lot was, of cheeky cheesy stuff. Fun. You have to be in the lab to win that. Oh, falling with the fair caught him. Oh yeah, you don't really want to challenge Craig's media fair. Like, it's, it's one of the media's fairs you'll ever be. Oh, I thought you baited him there really hard. Just get to the rock, jump cancel, you know. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, I missed him. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna kill. 
Oh, now there's like literally smoke everywhere. I pop off so hard for a force burn upper case. <laughs> but like, this isn't over yet. But you know, Rottweiler got some work. Has to get back on stage for us. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, he went for it. So we're not trying to disrespect people when we do down these spikes. We're just trying to hit people. Yeah, that's what. Uh... <laughs> 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 but uh, ooh, is that a move? Oh, that was great movement. Oh my god. Yeah, that was really good movement. Oh my gosh, that that that, oh, that, that was the, the best hit of Nair for him to get, but it just popped him out of the platform for attack. Yeah. And Krags definitely enjoyed this stage. I mean, I don't think oh. the character doesn't enjoy this stage. Oh, he wanted the wave land so he could get the down smash. That's so that's so unfortunate. So, uh, you know that set, that set was, or that game was competitive outside of, like, the first stock? You know, sometimes it just takes people, like, a game to, like, shake off their nerves, remember a matchup, remember not to get hit by an up smash being charged for 20 seconds. You know, just things like that. We're seeing this stage a lot today. I think it's because of all the forest burns that oh, have been on Oh, screen. yeah. Uh, forest burn kind of likes this stage. I love this stage. I, I started out not liking this stage. And then someone said, hey, have you seen the platform movement? I said, what, what do you mean platform movement? <laughs> and then top level players were saying, hey, I think a lot of this game revolves on how well you can use platform movement in your mix-up games. No, absolutely. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, and then I watched people play on the stage. This stage is beautiful. You make art on this stage. Oh no, yeah, I agree completely. Without platform movement, your game becomes extreme. Oh, they almost spiked with the rock That was there. incredible. That was like, a, he was trying to go for a really cheeky spike setup with that rock. But like without platform movement, your uh, your movements in general become really one dimensional and become really predictable. So like, if you can actually use the stage adequately, because I used to be in the same band, I used to hate the stage, but then I started being your own occasionally, and I was like, oh, it's not too bad. I like that he went uh, to hit peanuts instead of going into the smoke. No, yeah. Yeah, Jackie though, putting on a show. To be fair, I don't. I think Rottweiler is his favorite man on the track, so we'll see how much that uh. Jackie Peanuts' gameplay is so good at putting people in this fan and they're keeping it. Ooh, that's a good, nice wall hop just to mix it up a little bit. Oh no, oh, that one was important. And with that wall there, like if you wanted to, just have his back to the wall. Oh my god. Yeah, that was great. If he, if he stay, keeps that rock up, he's got a great, like, attacking situation going on if he gets hit horizontally. Oh, that's a good spike. Oh, that's oh a my god. Because he, he only had one up. As long as he spaced it forward, so properly, he's done. Unfortunately, he could have actually up into the wall. <laughs> no, he could have. That's true. He had one of the up. The second one's not too good. Plus, I want to see. Delinquents. <laughs> Looking like a dominating form. This makes me feel a little bit better about my set against the Jackie Peanuts. Because Rottweiler and I would probably both share it just like a crack. Oh, that's it. Oh. See? He has that wall there. Not even Forest afraid. Of can't even get rid of the wall very easily. Oh, yeah. He would have to go out there and literally attack. Yeah. You can't get your farm to go off stage and attack. He's just charging smash attacks. This is when the crags are feeling themselves. Down bees and then smash that's attacks. That's it. But that's uh now we're up next. Yeah, we're up next. So yep. We gotta hop on. We gotta hop off, so we'll hopefully hop on. Nero, come here. I want I want Jackie. No, Scooter, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Upset Scooter hopping on the mic here. I'm still salty about losing to Shaman. Because I 3 0 him online, but then we come into real life and all of a sudden he actually gets decent. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Yeah. Hey, Nero. Hi. Looking forward to that uh, winner's finals match? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Just 
use a few clouds, get a few I XDs. I, could, I wish I could pick cloud. That doesn't work. <laughs> Not in this game. I wonder if, uh, you can't just click, pick. What was clouds last game? I can't remember. Right. Yeah, that's right. Cloud Strike. Yeah. God, that is an edgy 90s name. <laughs> yeah. Like Clap. Uh, I don't know if it was the American offices or the Japan offices that we're working on, but uh, FF7. Hmm. No, I'm asking like Lightning from 13. Oh, Lightning from 13? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, we have to restart this too. Excellent. Yep. Shaman breaking another setup with his controller. I know, right? Oh, it's because they're both using. Oh no, no. never mind. I thought they were both using it, but apparently I think I think the I think from what I understand is if you want to use an Xbox, you, know, you have to plug it in and like restart the setup. Yeah. Or restart the thing. Yep. Setting. I actually kid you, fam. It's okay. Just think of it like this. There's always another turn. There's just a lot fewer than in this game. Yeah. So I think that. Shaman's gonna to wanna to go to Ace probably not gonna take him to the new power thing. Yeah, definitely not gonna get rock wall either. For either of those players, honestly. Because Ori would die really early from a fair, then yeah, okay. Craig would die from up airs or Yeah. Alright. Looks like It looks oh, like no, 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 no. Shaman's no. trying to end his career immediately, <laughs> but um <laughs> You gotta get out of it, thankfully, but damn, it's still going He's in. Still, oh, and uh, um, that is really, that really is, bad. Uh, so this is okay. Yeah, I mean, he's doing everything he can to return that favor, but the problem is, Craig weighs three times the level. Luckily, Craig's disadvantage state is not that good, and Shaman's disadvantage state is also not that good. So, hold on, might have worked it out for him. Hold on here. But, um, Shaman Changing up the direction he's gonna chuck that rock. Right in the air oh. dodge again! Oh! You don't do that on game one. You do that on game two. Yeah, or three. You do that to win the set. Yep. He's right now, the opponent is looking for like a combo start. But Shaman, once they he keeps getting hit by that. I guess it's out of his deal, so that makes sense. Yeah, and Dakota is definitely a more aerial player, so it's something that he's going to have to be careful of in this set. Yeah. I'm trying to get him. There we go. Just catching him there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looking for the DI in for Ash, but uh, Sham is like, no, and uh, killed him for a trying to recover after. Yeah, I mean, Shaman is just getting a lot of these really good setups on DK Dude Man up high, and it's definitely yeah. something that he's got to be a bit more careful. Yeah, yeah. he needs to, like, I think he needs to go to the DK Dude Man starting to dodge back, and he needs to play a little bit more around. He needs to play by one of those pillars in the air. Um, it won't be the end of the fight, it'll be unfavorable. Yeah, it'll be the start of the end. <laughs> Alright, right, it's air dodge, but he's unfortunately spiked it back into it. Yeah. The Shaman missed the tackle on the original, so he was probably dead. Alright. All of that tech. Alright, Dakota's yep. showing that he's still in this, and the first class might have been. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got a little bit of a hill to overcome at this point, I feel. I mean, it's not really a hill anymore. It's like an anvil, if anything. You say that, but this is Craig we're talking about versus Ori. One good bear out towards the edge of the stage. That could easily be a stop. Yeah, but Dakota, the DK Dude Man has shown that uh, he has not a great thing. A lot of him is. The guy has been really overplayed. Yeah. And he has been starting to adapt to Shaman's playstyle a bit more, so that is helping him out right now. Yeah. Most of these players play a lot, so maybe he just never got it. Yeah. Like Impossible. all these other people, and then somebody that you play for. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, he... Uh, oh, hit the side of his pillar sad. with the side B. Wasn't sad, high enough. Sad. Yeah. That's the worst feeling. After, was, after such a strong start, too, you really didn't yeah. see that kind of thing happen. Yeah, so, I mean, DK Doomman did a good job keeping his cool after that first stock, the way that yeah. went. A lot of other people would have just decided, hey, I'm just 
going to game two. Yeah, if you were online, they would have just walked off the stage in that seat. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, oh, really? Uh, I'm sorry, coaching fan. Yeah, mid set coaching. No, no. I was, you can't <laughs> substitute yourself for a player. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, I can respect this decision. Definitely yeah. a lot of room to work with here in the story, but. The challenge is it does give Ori a few more options to get back onto the stage. Yeah, it gives him approximately three. <laughs> yeah. Um, High, middle, and low. Yeah. But uh, I think it's, I think it's because a lot of this, near the end, it seems like Shaman just didn't get him off of it. Maybe with all the space, like the size of the stage, is more space to work with. Yeah. So we'll see how that comes into play here. Shaman just using his platforms to keep Ori from being able to use the aerial approaches that he likes. Yeah, that's also true. He just has such nice strings once he's going. That strong fair to right. get rid of him. Uh oh, D-bag. He's feeling himself. Don't let Shaman feel himself. Don't let him chad you up. Yep. That action was Oh my god, no. It was all from him missing a button. He just kind of stood there awkwardly. Unless he gets edge back here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh they're kind of dicey. Nice catch. Nice catch. Nice catch. Yeah, that is one thing you do have to keep in mind. That rock can come back to you any moment. It doesn't just sit there in this matchup. Right, they, they got kind of interesting that uh, DK do man options hit him back. Nobody can. I'm supposed to parry it like a lot of them. Nice. That will get him his first stock there. Yeah, sorry, right, not too far behind. Well, he is percent wise, but this yeah. is easy to make up. Yeah, but this is what he died. Yeah, so now he's simply got to play right, right now. Up. Quite the depth of the workout for yeah, you can't afford to take too much percent in this situation. Yeah. But the problem is, when you're against Craig, this character can just rack up percent in two or three hits. Yeah, but Craig also has that issue where he can just get kind of like edge guarded or cheesed really early sometimes. Um, yeah. The right reason. Uh, the wrong BI, though. So. Yeah, I mean, we saw what happened in that last game. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. So 68%, not too bad on this stage, honestly. Honestly. Mungi doesn't get hit by anything meaty good for a long time. Yep. Or gets hit by anything meaty the wrong direction. That's speaking of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Especially off the platform pick that if he if it was, if it was off the ground, he probably would have lived it, but since they had that extra bit of elevation. But the good thing for a DK Doom Man is he won the first game, so he gets the counter pick here. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't look like Shaman has the like, choice that some characters have, so there's three stages he would, like, he would not like to go to. Yep. So, I think he'll be fine. Let's see if he ends up there or not. Yep, that's yep. where he ends up going. Definitely a lot more open space here. No easy ways for Ori to be landing. Yeah, it's more so, it's more so, so Shaman can't, like, hide underneath the platform. Um, that was definitely, that felt, it felt like that he definitely, like, lost half of his game plan just from the way of hiding underneath the platform. You have to start all of the time out. Yeah, that's true. But Shaman just going in strong right now. Getting a lot of percent here. But, uh, Dakota isn't letting him either. Yeah, he's answering right back. Good way for that side B. Right. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's out of far. Oh no. Um, sad, sad. Yep. Alright, and roll around. Yep. Here we go, this is an opportunity yeah, for a dude man. Yeah, I'd ask him again. Oh! 
downside of the stage, there's no wall, yep. so you're more susceptible to getting spiked. Yeah. Can he make this? No. no. I didn't know if he had an air dodge. Yeah, if he still had his air dodge, he probably could have made that back, yeah. but I think he used to trying to get back up. I mean, that pillar was just in a bad spot to start with because he was almost underneath the stage oh. there. Yeah, but he didn't have much. Ooh, oh, he caught oh, him with the no. rod. Getting caught with the rocket like the worst the position you can actually be in. Right? You, yeah, don't get any, you don't get any air dodges. Yeah. You don't get any parries. Yeah, and with a character like Rory that can just carry you for days, yeah. that's basically a boss stock of this game. High, oh, code of like, I'm going high too. Yeah, but Shannon going just high enough to get out of there. Break some pillars so we can actually get a kill. Yeah, but that might actually come back to bite him. Oh, just a little bit patient with that dash stack there. Oh, sad, sad, sad. So, Shaman's out now, so yeah, DJ showing, Man's man. gonna be moving on to face Jackie Peanuts. Yeah, good showing for that, uh... Being able to come out so much. Yeah. Anyway, I'll have to hit the hand this ball. Big, meaty bears. <laughs> oh, is he getting up? Oh, just him. There we go. Salmon, you're supposed to hit him with your big meaty fares. Yeah, I know. I, I should not have let him go to that stage. I hate that stage. You yeah. saw me get trapped underneath it and I got Yeah. Triggered. It's definitely a difficult spot for any frag to be in. No, because it was either I let him go to FD, where I didn't have any platforms, which I should have did actually get back to it. Um, or let him go to that stage. I thought you might have chose Ori's stage and I was hoping that it would be the option. Yeah. But, cause that way I can at least hide underneath the one platform. From here I was basically right, I like hiding underneath the platform. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> but, uh, <sighs> I did okay. Yeah. You did really well, you just... You were like one hit away from taking your own. Yeah, just keep buttering me up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, everyone in the room was rooting for you. Yeah, I know. I just <laughs> talked about for our set. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for... Trying to prove a point. Nah, you, like Scooter, you keep at it, you'll probably beat me too. Yeah. With, with drag, so. Yeah. You were just sandbagging in that match online. No, I, I told you I was this. playing bad. I literally no, you, no, it was all just a setup to make me look like a fool today. You're right. We're playing the long. That's game. how I beat Nam too. <laughs> <laughs> I played a two, like a half year long plan of making him think his DK was good. Yeah. Beat him in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> but this is just a one week plan for you. Exactly. This is a one week, guys. You kind of get better at it the longer you do it. Yep. You guys trying to make like a custom tag together? Cause who is who is? <laughs> Becky who is? <laughs> Wait, where did my phone? Oh, Dakota came down here. What? Surprising. Oh, I suppose I don't blame him. Shaman hopping off the mic for a moment to grab his phone. Shaman hopping back down the mic now that he has his phone. I can look up my ding dong percent for Craig. I told DK to do man his ding dong percent was set five. <laughs> I still can't believe how early that stock was game one. No, yeah. But he did a good job breaking it back. I can't believe I let him get myself away, but I just can't. Yeah. Well, oh well. Living right. Yeah. I need to go to more tournaments. Dude, offline and online is such a different environment. It is. It is. Oh, Jackson is streaming. What's up, man? Uh, but yeah, we have winners finals here. Uh, Becky versus Kumi. <laughs> Jinla versus Nero. Yeah, and this is definitely going to be an interesting match because it's all going to come down to how well Nero can deal with Jinla's speed here. Because Absa does not want you on top of her, so mm -hmm. with how fast Maple is, it's definitely going to be a difficult task for to deal with. Yeah, I can see you there. But, um, no, yeah, so the thing is that, uh, a Maple ended Nero's character Yeah. Um, it was Tuxedo or something, something like a streamer, basically. Oh, so he lost his streamer. Oh, 
But, uh, you say that like the streamer was a bad player. No, no, I just always like, hey, Nero getting that nice confirm into the up air. Oh yeah. Remember that like your characters? I think it's either you or Teddy Dude. There's like three tiers of characters. Little characters, medium characters, and kind of characters. Nero doesn't like the little characters. He doesn't like the small characters. Yeah. Whereas me, I don't like the frag size characters. I'm playing as more for Oh yeah. Cause like, well the thing is with Absa, it's just harder to the cheese on the stupid like very very crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that puppy just gives him so much versatility to move around. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I didn't... Just getting that tether is so nice because it just lets you choose the right direction to get with the second smash. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, this is looking kinda how I expect it right now. Uh, Dylan and Nero spend a lot of time. Nero has been trying to practice his matchup a little bit, yeah. but it's still a little difficult. Yeah, I mean, part of that's coming from the caliber of player he's playing against right now. It's absolutely true. I think I'm pretty sure Dylan's in the top 50. I don't know where. Yeah. And just waiting patiently while Nero is a false sense of security behind that cloud. Yeah. yeah. Nero really does have to be careful with that, because if the opponent hasn't approached for a while, it's getting to the point where they might start approaching again, so you might want to throw out another cloud to try and get them back into the panic mode, or just do something, because just sitting there essentially concedes the entire stage. No, yeah, definitely. Oh, Dinla is... might be 24 according to Jack, but unfortunately he's going to get back to work. Well, later Jack picks up by his Yep. Uh, While we're waiting here, so this is the winner. Yep. And then we have uh, Yuga and Jack. Uh, those are good to Yep. Oh, okay. But yeah, oh, we got to a uh, treetop. Yep. And I can see how, or why Nero would pick this stage. He's got a couple games to mess around with, so I'm pretty sure it's the best of mine. Yeah. For winner's finals, it's gotta be, but the challenge is there's a lot less room to uh, escape if Maple gets on top of you, so you do have to be careful with that. Maple's so good, or uh, I should say Dimmel's so good, Dimmel's so good, like, like, like that dash Ooh. special move, you know, like the down me up, one of the three, yeah. three of them but like, he's so good to use with implement. Yep. I mean, it's just a nice quick movement option. And it puts the, uh, the leaf on your opponent, so. Yep. Nice confirm into the up air. Looks like the stage selection is helping your own a little bit. Yeah, he does do a good job once he gets some to confirm it, too. Whether it's cloud or an up tilt. Ooh, that almost killed. That should be it. Oh, oh, no. oh, yep, there it is. He followed up. He was not lazy, he made sure that he was done. Yeah, a lot of people would have just assumed that. Oh, he's gone, but not then, like, he's making sure that stock leaves. Exactly. Why is it when you're Yeah. Well, then you're having like a 50% lead here. Let's see if he doesn't want to do that. That's really didn't win the way. Yeah, the challenge is just going to be getting back with that. Oh, once again, setting up that up air so nicely. So I'm wondering if uh, Dinlis used to like cloud the oh, I'm going to try to follow the rest of the, the stock healers. Let's see if that's uh, the thing that you're aware of. Yeah. Right. But he hasn't had a chance to cloud the entire time. Yeah, I mean, Dinla just holding down that stage where Nero needs to land at. Good jab and walk over. Yeah. Nero is really good at using that club to mix up his timing as he's coming back down. So I'm finding no with that first downer there, but That's he is good. really carrying this. Oh! <laughs> But a passion coming out there. No, yeah, that was such a good up -y. Like, and the thing was, if, if that missed, he was just dead and was just not. Yep. But it was more of like a dagger moment. Yeah. The last thing you'd expect. Basically. That's Ooh. the thing about rivals I've noticed. A lot of players play extremely safely until, like, 
literally the last doc situation, which is kind of the opposite of Prime. Or excuse me, the opposite of Smash 4. Yeah. Where like people will play extremely stupidly until like they're about to die and then they just feel like they're insane. Yeah. In Rivals, it's the opposite. And everyone's just like, oh, I don't want your combo, I don't want your combo. Oh, this is about to go over. I'm going to throw up my one kill. And yeah. help it. <laughs> help it play. Yeah, so Miro hoping to find a way to answer back here in game 3. I'm going to. I don't even know the name of the game. I'm going to call it. Uh, uh, Frozen Fortress? <laughs> Frozen Fortress, that's right. That is right. Ooh, up air, up air, one more. Oh, we got Ooh. an up air, got an up air, up air. I need one more. Man, just carrying them all over the stage right now. That looked nice, but he didn't steal anything away, so let's see if he can cast a lot of damage. It did at least give him a good percent lead to start off with. Oh, yeah, 65, nice. Big. Oh, that might be good. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice follow up. So, only 10% on that first stock right now for the hero, so. Definitely in a great spot right now as far as starting up the lead. Nice save the pro back to save. He took his time. Yep. And that's the thing, you don't want to expel your options when you're not bad at it. You don't want to expel all your options right away, because then like people can like predict it. Yep. But uh literally did the right same thing right back. Yeah. Only got 10% of it. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely a good way to answer back after that first stock, so it's basically back to the game now. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure just letting you trade for, like, domination back in the first Yeah. At the moment where I thought Demo was gonna keep pushing off the edge of that stage there. Demo trying to crouch cancel the, uh, the fair two. If you had got that girl on that down here, that would have been the stock of that height. Good trip back. Dylan's yeah, just waiting there. It's like, it's like a major competitor. Oh, he oh, just dabbed him. Oh, actually able to clip onto that platform. Get back. Ooh, that cloud kick. Yep. That's one of the things you always have to keep in the back. Did he kill? Did he miss? No, he hit. It's just that this is a really wise stage. Hero, hero di did. He ended up living. Oh, yeah, that'll do. So if Nero can get one good confirm, he can even this right back up. But the challenge is going to be finding it at this point. I mean, you just see it. Yeah. And they'll stay crowding, crouching, knowing that if Nero wants to get anything started, it's going to have to be from a distance most of the time. Yeah, and this is when most players start to crumble. It's when it's in one stock, in one stock situation, you know. They're on their tournament life, or at least they're in their life. And uh, instead of uh, he playing the neutral game that was doing pretty well for you, they start throwing out the tail on us. Oh, almost caught him out of that downer. Or down B, I should say. How did that not clip him? Yeah. But that back here finally got to take that stock. Yep, now we got a uh, last stock situation. Here's the other word to make. But uh, I think this was actually been not using the fence as much lately because everyone just won't bear. Yeah, it gets you invincibility. I have carry that play. Oh, oh, this oh. might be it. This might oh, oh god, that was cracked. <laughs> but this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Hero does not like tiny little ants. Yeah. Oh. Got, oh. Oh. got it! Oh. Nero shunned life! And we have a set here now. Yeah, that was a great confirm from Nero to take that stock. And he definitely needed that sitting at 130 percent yeah. I don't know how many people actually know like how to DI that properly because there's not too many apps out there. And yeah. like let alone like you run into an apps online, you, you probably you're like, oh I'm a one and done game and move on. So you don't want to yeah. fight the apps. Yeah. But uh But this is the challenge now because Dinla gets the stage counter pick, so Nero's gonna have to fight him on his own turf. Yeah, twice. Maybe even if it goes to game five. Yeah, and this is honestly I feel a good pick for Maple against Absa because as Absa is trying to recover, she doesn't really have any of the platforms there that she can cancel off. So oh, yeah. it definitely limits her options. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure Dylan can up the platform in the base. Yep. So it's, like, it's a way to cover like, look at that camera. Yep. Nice use of the cloud to give him uh, opening to get back out of the stage there. The only thing I'm thinking about might be bad for Dylan is that like, uh, Maple's like hugging the wall and recovering. Oh, my, that's it! Hero! Oh, and off here with the fair strings! <laughs> oh boy. But, uh. Send this I'm man to the infirmary. <laughs> I'm afraid that Maple will make a cloud and he will stay in the race. 
That's true. But at the very least, you can tether through the stage if your opponent is seated. And he's been doing a good job making sure that Nero is consistently seated. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try to watch this from Yeah, a lot of it for him is just finding these openings against Nero because Nero's been playing a very floaty playstyle, not really hanging around the ground too long. And if he starts to get close like that right there, just popping up and using the cloud cell. Yeah. The thing is, Nero's putting up the cloud, trying to hope that Demo and Milton can carry, yep. and just like, you know, punish him. Yeah. The thing about Habs is you can't focus on the cloud, or you'll start, like, getting baited into parry, and then you'll just die. Yeah, if you give it too much respect, you're never gonna get in. If you give it no respect, it'll bounce around. Exactly. Bounce. Yep. Oh, nice parry of uh, the seed, not whatever the hell that is. Yep. Oh! Oh, that was a weak one. I can't believe that didn't hit. At least as well as he wanted it. Oh, oh. wow, that was even more He was trying to DI out because he was afraid of a confirm if he DI'd in. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, that's But he touched the ground at the very least, so he got his jump back. The spacing from Dinla, as Nero was trying to recover there, was on point. Oh, God, that is tight. Oh, okay, I think he has enough. Oh, no good cloud. Excellent oh. cloud. Yep. So Nero looking to get on as much extra percent as he can here. Yeah, hopefully he feels the game is what he's doing. But yeah. Let's see at least how much extra percent. Well, that would be yeah. Yep, that'll be it. So... 22. Yeah, essentially an even game between these two. He got beat. Yeah. You always have to be aware of that down air from Maple. Not only that, but in general, a lot of like players, and you see someone that's too like up tilt spammy, yeah. you just like you go down and then you just jump again. You mess up the timing of the opponent. Yeah. Happens. <laughs> oh, got the confirm in the upper. Not gonna kill though. Well, that's it. That'll do it. We got a game five. Man, Nero looking to make this reverse 3-0 here. He's been starting to understand Dylan's patterns. And it's just been finding the right openings and the right times to back off to give. Dinla some room to attack, and then he responds in kind afterwards. So, Air Fortress, Air Amon didn't work out. Um, oh, we get this stage. So, yep. this one is pretty good, just because, like, there's not much... So there's that big platform in the middle, yep. but it, it's not like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's not as advantageous for Babs. Maybe, but... At the very least, for Maple, she can use that to run over the cloud, so that may help Vinla in dealing with the cloud space. Oh, oh no! That is what you want to see. Zero's gonna take it. Anyone would. Yeah, you're in winner's finals. You gotta take everything you can get at this point. Nice! He equaled it back up. Yep, and just like that, he equaled it right back up. You know? Both players are back at it. Yep. Yeah. A nice sizable pot on the line. Yep. Yeah. We had what was this? 18 entries, ten dollars a piece. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, I mean, then like he's trying to go out there to get the games, but the problem is Abs is just so floaty that Nero can outweigh him. Oh. Oh, he was trying to do something. I wasn't sure what his mind was. Oh, oh, that, that should have been it. <laughs> yeah. He had the read on that. Oh. He had Nero the read there too. Yeah. <laughs> Both the players just rings away. And the cloud bouncing him right in again. Oh, oh nice yeah. stall there. I feel like the cloud is like the setting point. How each player uses like Nero's cloud. Yeah, I mean that's essentially the polarizing item in this matchup here. That's oh. That's oh. not it. Yeah, I can feel the flame. That's for sure. Ooh. I thought for a moment there. Let's see that... if he goes for the parry. Yeah, I thought Dinla had the range here with that up. Oh, oh, he caught him oh, sleeping. Wow. Caught him sleeping, gets rid of Lily. Tries to edge cancel. So now he's on the ledge. Very on the oh, yeah. Okay. Good stall there, just waiting out Dinla. You can start to see a little bit of impatience coming out of Dinla here. I mean, it's definitely one of those things that is just so mentally taxing when you're trying to play apps, uh, just takes so much focus trying to figure out how to get in it. Nice. 
jumps out of the cloud. Here, stone cloud in space. <laughs> and I mean, you saw there just how much work Villain was putting into making sure that there was a scene on Nero. At the very least, force the seat off for a moment there, but still uh, getting that seat back on. <laughs> Trying to catch him off guard there with that upbeat. Back past him, back on the stage. And that oh! That dragon! It, no! Ooh. Oh, that! Okay, so Nero's got a new lead. Nice. He does with it. He gets me the last thing. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> and remember guys, that was just winner's finals. Yeah. Someone's Holy gonna come meet Dimla and Grants. Jeez. He, he better not expel all of his energy right now. <laughs> no kidding. I'm so dead right now. Oh my god. I that just can't believe that Downby actually went through the up tilt. Yeah. But now we got people battling to get into Loser's Finals. Yep. See who gets to uh, face off against Nero here. I think Jackie Peanuts is the last out-of-state representative in tournament. Am yep. I correct? Should be. He might be. I don't know. Hey, I'm creating a narrative over here. <laughs> <laughs> Every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. <laughs> So, Jackie Peanuts came all the way from Minnesota. Yep. Come to join us at our glorious crack festival. <laughs> yep. And, uh, he's the last crack left. Yeah. He's the last ma crack main left. Yeah. He's definitely got his work cut out for him against DK Dude, man. No, we got a crack, we got Corey, waiting for the finals, we got Abs, and Grand, we got that main lane. It's almost like a tier list. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, you're right, Force Bird isn't waiting in fuck time. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, we both got eliminated by Craig's. Bad matchup. Just chuck rocks and you get free edge guard. Oh, there she is over here. Hey, Dakota. Oh, On the flip side, not gonna be too many free rock edge guards here. Maybe there will be. So here's the thing, um, Rock works pretty well if the Ori ever becomes predictable and they're like not being that or the matter. And there is a lot you can do to force out different options from Ori as they're recovering. So DK Dude Man is going to have to be careful once he gets put off stage here. But right now he's just trying to find some way in here to get something started. There we go, getting a good string here, forcing him all the way to the pillar. I don't know why, when I saw Jackie Peanuts land on the platform, I thought it was a huge amount of things that he be able to get these But, ooh, it's a life thing else now. Yeah. He's been kind of struggling to stop. Oh, if Sign was there for that F smash, that would have reached. Yeah, yeah. Again, Sign, there we go, Sign finally joined. That's the thing, Jackie, you know, is so confident. He just knows what he needs to do with the character. Yep. Oh no, yep, oh, that's gone. He went for the, the, the guaranteed dirty right there. Yeah, when Craig is that low, you have to be really careful if you're going down there to get him because oh, yeah. he's got time to predict what you're going to do. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Floating back over him, but mistiming that parry, so he's going to be sent to Rockland. Oh. So, Crack, wave dashing reminds me of Bowser in the relay. <laughs> it's like, yes, the Bowser Mobile. Exactly. <laughs> uh. So, we got Rock Wall, which I agree with completely. Yeah. And, you know, Crack, let me tell you, you might have left the same thing. But I mean, DK Dooman, honestly, if he can get going, he's definitely no stranger to how to play this match. Because, I mean, we have to remember back at Frostbite when he managed to beat Turtle Box, but 
Jackie Peanuts wouldn't uh, be able to deal with Mori a little bit better here. Oh yeah. Um, honestly, it's just it's just uh, gonna play by Jackie Peanuts, but. Yeah. This is why I don't want to let the Cajun Man ever come to the state. But no, I agree. I can't. Yeah, he'll just, yeah, he'll just carry you all the way off to the side. And it's not like an input intensive thing, so it makes it hard to see. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, here's the chat. Yeah, I don't know. At least for the PR work. Oh, oh, just <laughs> wait, it's super long for him to come back down. Definitely in the Korea, as we were just discussing, the story is here, like, still kind of on this stage. Yeah. 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 This whole map is all that, but Craig is a heavy boy. Going right on over to the start of this. Still, let's see if he finishes it off. The thing that Craig does have against the Korean Night Guardian is on the side. Oh no. Oh, actually. Oh. 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 Oh, he's just getting too frustrated, I think. That's disappointing. And I mean, it is a frustrating matchup to deal with. It is, he just played me too. Oh, yeah, that's true. But now we have, uh, Nero. Who I think Frank's like, being <laughs> I think Nero's third or uh, yeah, should be. Yeah. All we're missing is Doug, really. Yeah. I mean, we definitely had a good show from the Michigan scene. Yeah. Dan says off in Alabama, I think so. Yep. Alabama. Well, we're gonna have Craig versus Ed. Everyone's favorite Wi Fi player there. We're just missing out on really. Yeah. But she gets back to Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs, why aren't you here? Here in the chat. It's a good day. A good day to ice it up. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these two guys you did not play earlier. Dragon already? Yeah, what a surprise. How far we are in the dragon. Oh! Three parents in a row. I'm not sure which one it is, it might be a custom protection knife. I'm not getting hit by that upstream, but... Yep, that's the hard part. Yeah, man. And that's the thing, like, the girl is so only practicing if you want to punch the crack off stage. Yep. He's, he's gonna know what works, he doesn't. It's just... Can you, like, his opponent stay on stage and have to deal with him? Yep. But Peanuts with a strong pair there to finally take off Nero's first stock. But Nero has just been doing a good job once he gets control of the neutral. Just carrying Peanuts as far as he can. Yeah, he knows the yeah. back air back air. Long yeah. still here's the thing. But Nero's very respectful of his opponents off stage because they're actually immediately next to the wall. Yeah. So they'll just sit there and just come back at yeah, but the challenge is with that cloud there, you couldn't find a way back around it once you're low as Craig. It's like you air dodge, you're getting fared. If you don't air dodge, you're getting clouded. And I like, so I like this counter pick. Um, I feel like Rando does much better in the episode than Craig does. Oh yeah. I mean, you can get the needle setups off stage. You can have the speed to get in against Absa. So there's definitely a lot more tools you have to work with. Mass fall a little bit too quickly there, not able to get the ball jump off that. Yep. Oh, Nero trying to get that follow up, but it's really hard to confirm on these platforms. They're at that awkward height where your opponent has enough time to be able to 
to get the attack on him. The thing was, if, uh, if didn't, uh, be reverse the field there, They were getting a good edge guard to take that stock, but Venus ready with these upbeats, just intercepting them. That was that at? Yeah, Holy like cow! Zero. But here's the thing, Rando did much better than Dragon, but you know, he's going back to try to true. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it, I feel like they both did about as well as each other. And going into the last game, you want to go with the character you're most comfortable with, in my opinion. No, I agree. But the challenge is, this is Apsis home turf here. Why are we on step this speed? That's a good question. Why don't you tell us about why you wouldn't be here? Um, well, it's really easy to uh, have some edge guard here, and uh, this thing makes it easier. Yeah, there's plenty of platforms for apps to cancel on for recovery. But, there's a bunch of beautiful platforms. Uh, yeah, a bunch of beautiful platforms that crack and hide over here. That's true. So, you know, it's just a bigger poison now. Yeah. Obviously, it's probably a little better thing to than I am, but it's there now. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been... That could have been cool. Well, the weight there for that to get down here. He has a big... He got a big meaty crab out here. Yep. I want, I want a skin for dragging the crab. That'd be interesting to see. He goes like sand block. <laughs> Sandstone crag. Exactly. And it can play their hands. Oh, got the parry on the up tilt, so... Tina's gonna take the first stock here, so honestly, like you said with these killers, he is definitely having a little bit easier time of dealing with some of them. Yeah. But he is having an easier time dealing with these probes from Hero, it feels like. Down here, gonna set him off the side here. Nah, he's low fair to take the stop. Oh yeah. That's it, like the biggest thing that Dragon's point for him is his survivability. Yeah. Um, you can live to 156 feet, then you've done your job, you've done what you're Yeah. And like, he literally lived to about 130, which is pretty good, especially for him. Yep. But yeah, I mean, Nero's just been doing a really good job of finding these spots where he can get the early kills on Craig, and it's been paying off. Yeah, it's just uh, put the central tag really all you need in that. So yeah. He died yeah. So, he's got two stocks to take off Jackie here. He wants to be able to close the set out and not let it go to a game four. Yeah. You never want to go to a game four. You start giving the most your opponents. Yeah. That's always a bad thing. Yeah, but I mean, with the way Jack is moving right now, it's definitely going to be difficult for Hero to find his own. So head air down. Uh, well, just barely able to chuck that rocket time, but the strong hit finally takes that stock. 55% of a decent amount of percent wise. Yeah, especially for Greg, because you're going to be able to take this stock and attack on only a little bit more. Yeah, like he's, he's, he's starting to die. Yep. Oh. Just using that cloud to take away all of his options here and going really hard. He went to the Oh, he did not want that going any no, further. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen that too many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't go low in that matchup just because it's just so easy for him to dare you because he can always just up the event. Yeah. 
And he's going to be able to get down there quicker than you can. But, uh, three cheers uh, for our, our Valiant Crack. Yeah. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip crack bottom here. But no, <laughs> no. Statistically, according to the online stats posted by Dan, he is the best character. What's your question? Maple's worst matchup is crack. No. <laughs> Atlas. <laughs> Eliana. Forsberg. <laughs> Bruh, I'll body. Basically, the Fire Kingdom. The Fire Kingdom. Yeah, he's got to use the Fire Kingdom. That's how it works. Yeah, actually, Claren might be okay. Yeah, because, I mean, you just down B, one of the seeds, and boom, you got your free little force field. Yeah, not only seeds. that, but, like, you can't really edge guard. You can edge guard clear, but, like, it's really annoying in Duke. Yeah, I mean, that's stupid up Your best option is just to parry the up B and then punish yeah. it. But it can be really difficult to time it because they can easily mix up the timing on when they do it. Why it's always something not replay. Yeah, understandable. Wait for, like, the second part of up B to come out in. Yeah, or if you see them constantly delaying between the first and the second yeah. squeeze it in there. Yeah, or if they're going high. I, I've given up a parry of me on mine. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was having trouble parrying you off on. I'm used to the online timings. It's different. It's a literally a different yeah. game. Yeah. It's still, it's, so it's extremely enjoyable online still. But offline, it's just, it's much faster. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, it's just extremely faster. But yeah, we're going to have Dinla and Euro. They switch chairs. I wonder if the chair is the secret. Maybe, it's possible. You never know in this game. Exactly. What if there's more priority? Yeah. But as a reminder, uh, the commentators right now for this are Scooter388 and Pew Pew. <laughs> I guess that's me, Shannon. Um, you can see, you can follow us at, at Shamans when we see it again, and at Scooter388. One. What, 388? No, 3881. Oh, that's right, you had to add another Yeah, okay. terrorists have it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of terrorists. There, there's people that have my runes tag that haven't been active on Twitter in like a decade or so. Yeah. The terrorists that have my account ended up getting it locked, so I've tried sending Twitter emails in order to get it unlocked, but no no dice. Oh, that's how you call me Pew Pew. I was like, <laughs> now you look at the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to having chats. That, that's like, those are banned in Michigan. Yeah, they want us to focus on that commentary. An eight man tournament, although it is a regional, yep. so but now we've got one versus three in the Michigan PR. Um, Doug's hit underneath his blanket, you know, there's a scary absence. Yeah, I, I just understand them. the absence is great, so it makes sense. Yeah, so coming into this matchup, though, I won, or I won, I won zero. Doesn't make super difficult. This one's well. But Dinlet, you know, he seems to be a pretty honest kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, my advice to you is literally just to, like, don't go for like, the same thing over and over again. At least have, like, five or six options for the world over again, like, one again. Yeah. Because, like, if you become too predictable, it's gonna be, uh, up the, up there, up the, whatever the series of chains for it. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, people kind of lose. And the other thing is, don't, never get too comfortable behind that cloud because it's, yeah. Abs I mean, Maple's got the speed to get in there. I mean, that's the range of the smash. Yeah. That's like, the smash it, it might be the farthest range of the smash. Yeah, it rivals Forsberg's cape, yeah. to be honest. Well, basically, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if you're not going to get hurt by this. Yep. Well, is the cape just cool? Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure. The problem with it, though, is that as he's throwing the cape out, he throws his hand out, too, so that has a hurt box. Yeah, but yeah. not quite all the way. Yeah, there's been situations where I've seen Forsbergs, including myself, end up extending our hurt boxes into the like, oh, we can outrange this move, and then we're like, oh, forgot, I have a hand. Oh, but yeah, we have uh, grand finals here on losing side. Ethan versus Becky. Yeah, this is a white fight at this point. But I do like how Dinla's hanging back as Nero's recovering, but just respecting the upbeat. Nero's winning. 
Yeah, he's been doing a good job of the eye goes correctly, but the down smash could have sent him off. Oh yeah. Down smash is such a great option. I feel like this is going to be a really difficult stage for Nero to pin down Vinla because he's just been moving around so well here with his platform that Abs is not as quick as a character, so it's going to be a bit more effort for Nero to keep up here. Almost tried to catch the roll there, but a little bit too slow there and got very short. Their platform and not gonna be it still. Yep, wasn't expecting the IN, but again with these smashes just catching Nero sleeping. He's in his face, why not? It's better than a dab. Yeah. Finally rushing in past that cloud, but missing the attack, he's got to lose the stock for it. Yep. Here's kind of trying to camp out the Yep. No, but still able to live, but that down smash gonna do it. Yeah. Maple may have like the best distance to viability recovery in the game. Still can get punished for No character is safe recovery. Yeah. I mean, just be patient approach. Then, uh, Ooh. Maybe we have okay. a gaming game. I mean, they may be trying to approach safe, but it ain't safe off stage. Now, uh, get some critical damage. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's essentially where Dinla's found a lot of the openings just coming in off the ground here. Oh, nice catch. Might... Oh, almost late to the dare. Yeah, mixed up the DI and we'll just went in. Okay. Players are starting to get a little light. Yep, sending off that cloud to give him a little bit of defense. And this one's doing a good job recognizing that he can just crouch cancel his tilts. Oh yeah. Snap support. It's a fun. It's uh, yeah. a baddie. Not a good one. Oh. Yeah. oh! Oh no! I think he's back into the follow-up. Clean up with me, like, wave that in. Yeah, I think a lot. Really I think a lot of it is just pressure getting between these two because this has been a close set. Man, I'll kill him. Oh, there it is. The follow-up did. Man, Nero managed to make that comeback. If Nero can lean forward anymore, he's having the inside for Yeah. I mean, this. I mean, the last set was exhausting enough mentally for them, so having to go through this again is just going to be torture on these lines. And I mean, that's really going to be what it comes down to in this match, I feel. Who's going to be able to keep their calm the best? Absolutely. And so, this stage is interesting. Yep. I feel like Absinthe gets a ton off this stage. Yep. Got the tilt, got the up here. Really healthy for stock. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you're supposed to, uh... Yeah, that was a good carry, but... <laughs> And again, going right into Lily there. Nero does have to be careful with that, especially if you see this. But yeah, I feel like for the up tilt to up air, if you're DIing in the direction that Abs is facing, if I remember correctly, that's how you get out of that. Oh, went too low. I was yeah. expecting Nero to just go up immediately to that platform, because the worst thing that happens there is you get hit by an air. So, Nero's been, okay, just watching a little bit, he's been literally trying to get in here the entire time. He'll jump, he'll use like a little... Oh. Oh. Can y'all play the game? <laughs> How did they get here? <laughs> By us being bad. Yeah, touche. <laughs> but, uh, Nero's literally just trying to like, jump, and then he'll come pop up the cloud, he'll hop off the cloud, he'll jump again. Yeah. He'll do whatever he can to... Yeah, because I mean that's really where Abs does have the advantage in this match because Abs can just hang up there for so much longer. But for Maple, it's a little bit more committal if you're up in the air like that because it eliminates a lot of those side bees like that. Because Maple would go into free fall if she did that in the air. So just a few other bonuses. Abs being here. One, all of her killing those are in the air. 
yep. uh, two. Um, if uh, Lily does attack uh, as well, she's in the air. It doesn't wrap her up. Yeah, you just get bounced. So off. it's like literally just like making you move a little bit further, and you, you don't have to worry about getting wrapped. Yep. Just floating out that up tilt too. Yep. So even stocks between these two, but then they're looking a little worse for wear coming into this. Yeah. Oh, almost got the hit there, but Mabel just a little short. Going for it. Yep, you see how he DI'd out. And that was the direction that Napsa was facing. Oh yeah, I'll keep behind him. Further, uh, further analysis. Further analysis. Uh, making it easily there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, why did that Ooh. almost kill? Almost getting that again. Oh, that did. <laughs> just called him out with that Finless one. Finless jaw just dropped momentarily. Like, yeah. He really just called out my side dude with that. Yeah. Upside. And I mean, it worked. No, it did. Hero's up 2-0. Um, yeah. And loser's side. So we're getting a potential drag of reset. If he just grabbed one more. Yeah. But let's see if Dilla can reverse it real quick. Yeah, and I mean, this is what we saw in Grants. He was able to get that reversal and bring the entire set back. Because as it started going on further and further... Ooh, that's it! Able... No! Ooh. But I mean, as much as Dylan needs to do, Nero is doing everything he can to prevent any sort of reverse trio here. Yeah, Nero's got a family to feed himself and his, like, three imaginary friends. So, you know... <laughs> Sam is chucking rocks out here on commentary. I don't be a disrespectful. There's some shade too. I might as well make you a little bit. Yeah. And you know, just two stocks off here real quick. He is definitely putting the pressure on right now. I think we're just so content just like being away. Just like staying in the air, staying far away, and making maple a little yeah, I mean, that's essentially the way the meta is eventually going to go. And I feel like it was going to go that way regardless of if DLC was added or not. Because a lot of it just comes down to, if you approach, you're putting yourself Ooh. out there. Oh, oh no. Like that. You go aggressive, you put yourself out there too far, you end up losing your stock. Okay, just coming to But yeah, I mean... As I was saying with the way the meta's moving, if you're going aggressive like that, you're really putting yourself out there, and since mobility is the only thing that you have in this game, you can use that mobility to react to whatever your opponent's trying to do to come in and just punish him for that. Like you've seen, you are just moving out of the way as Dylan is trying to be the aggressor there and just punishing him for it. Because while you are conceding the stage to your opponent, if you're playing a defensive playstyle like that, you are getting the advantage of seeing more of your opponent's habits, because as the match goes on, if you switch over to an aggressive state later on, you already know all of your opponent's habits, whereas you've been just mostly playing patient and forcing them out from your opponent, so it's essentially <laughs> optimal play, I feel, for how this match is, or any match no, no, yeah, I agree completely. Like, while you're, like, hopping around your cloud, really, really, like, yeah. you're reading, or you're learning, like, all their rolling habits, their wave dashing habits, yeah. their, their side Bs. Exactly. Yeah, and I mean, you just see Nero once again taking the skies. I mean, there's a reason he's part of the, uh, Air Force, the Air Armada. Is that something here? I think so. I think he's one of the inventors for him, if I remember correctly. I the snake was, no, not the snake, the rabbit was Well, one of them. No, no, the rabbit was the better higher grade, like, higher grade. Yeah. Anyway, folklore is, uh... But anyways, <laughs> best lore, unguarded sink. Best character in the lore. I thought Sack was the best character, whatever that character No. Sandbag, yeah. Sandberg? Yeah, Sandberg. No, it's unguarded sink. We're already at uh, stock down game, or, uh, game one, set three. I mean, we just see all this effort that Dilla is putting in to try and create these openings, but... Now, did you see how he just added a little bit extra damage right through it in the middle of the scene before we're doing everything else? Yeah. It's like the little touch. Dylan trying to make something happen here, getting a good amount of percentage racked up. But Nero able to clip him on the way down. 
was just imagining what this new game for a second, but anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> no, let's not add that. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Raw fair, an up air, just up. That's the thing, don't, you don't want to fight apps in the air. Unless yeah. you're Atalus or Craig. Or so kind of maybe. You don't want to fight apps in the air. I like how he had Lily on that platform, but Nero able to just flip on by there and pass Oh yeah, it was like excellent. I don't know what you're here and here, what you're gonna do about this. He meant he had There we go. Very nice tether dunk to uh, take that stock off. It's gonna be a name of my name. Tether dunk. Finland right now popping off with that damage output. But Nero able to reverse it and get that strong one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like, you you see that strong hit and your immediate instinct is like, oh, I don't want to die because this will kill me if I DI out. And then that only just sets you up for the second one, so it's like, dead if you do, dead if you don't. So, here's the thing. Um, you have to just take, you just have to take the gut punch and DI out the first hit. Yeah. And the last, like, you're just going to die from one hit, period. Yeah. That, that's the only point where you can do a lot of DI. You want to like DI up, and then basically you can make that last thing like that. Uh, yep. The last zone is like stretch as far as possible. There we go. That's what I was waiting to see from Dinla, just parrying the upbeats rather than trying to attack one. Because that honestly I feel is a much easier way to punish Abs' recovery as she's coming back on stage. So I'm trying to hear this. Honestly, I'm not because those platforms are so good at setting up for up airs. The only challenge is just making sure that you can touch the side of the stage. Nice cloud. Yeah, just sending the advance guard out there to protect him as he's coming back. All oh, expected that panic roll option, but Nidla not giving it to him. And both of them just respecting each other there so much. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he almost well, he out there with him. <laughs> How did that? <laughs> All of them just having a laugh right now. That's funny. That was just an interesting. I, I'm surprised it didn't make uh, Maple drag out. So, uh, yeah, I think it was just because way to bust. how early the tether was in the animation. Yep. I don't have to damn about that later. That was an interesting interaction. Yep. Very nice dunk and the smash to follow up here. Oh, not able to get it off quick enough the second time, so Nero able to get back here. Resetting neutral, popping out those clouds, see what comes out of them. Yep. And it's just so yeah, nice because he can delay so long above those up tilts. Yeah, Nero expecting his down B there, not letting himself get hit by that again. Because, I mean, we've seen that go through several of Abs' attacks. Yeah. It should see what, uh, Ooh, call out. Out. say which one was going to go Yep, up. Yep. Yeah, and that was a great call because Nero's been trying to arc above Nidla as he's coming back on there. Yeah, there's no point in this game. You can yeah. just attack him whenever you know, you just do it in yeah. Unless they do it in a really stupid way. Actually being able to crouch under the up tilt, but not respecting that up air as Nero was recovering and took a big hit for it, but still living here. Well, that was a good one. He almost like, he had more than one. Yeah, it's because of that mix up that Dinla added in there. He wave dashed in and back out to get that down smash, so he may have started DI in one direction but was able to save it. Might be a little late for this game. I think Nero's starting to respect the up the a little bit more. Yep. I mean Dinla's been holding off on that but is starting to throw that out a bit more confidently here. Oh like almost got confirmed. I'm surprised Nero didn't play this half of the first spot for a second instead of that. Oh no. Man, that's the worst when you want to drop through the platform and it's like, oh, you wanted a down tilt? Okay. I mean, but we're, we're getting good sets. We're yeah, I mean... As long as no one's spaghetti. Yeah, I mean, there's just been such good space off gameplay, off stage gameplay. I mean, there's everything you want in this set. Yeah. Unless you're a Kraken and you want rock. I, like I know you want rock. I don't like anyone else in there. No. Well, what if somebody chucked the rock to you and then you picked it up and they gave your rock? That one. <laughs> I like I like Timmy. Getting multiple rocks. Rock dust. Yeah. But, uh, bad US policy is 
Uh oh. Here comes the fair strings again. Oh, only got the soft one on the last one. That would have been a stock, but didn't I able to survive? We were almost all over it. Oh no. Yeah, these platforms are definitely not his friends. Had a nice string going there, but then I able to DI out of that. Yeah. So much pressure right now. Not able to get that last hit of the up here. Yep. Good carry though. That'll take off the stock. Yep. Yeah, he started the hang out on that last one. Wasn't able to see how close he was to the blast zone. Yeah. It's because he was that lower percent. Ooh. Was, oh. That cloud I delay. The yep. the oh my God. I mean, Nero is just doing such a good job catching Dinla off guard off stage like this. Absa just has like such raw like power. Like, yeah. First power. And it's not just that. It's Absa's ability to stay out there really that's been giving Nero a lot of these opportunities. Because he can use that cloud to keep himself out there like that, he can just float because Abs is among the floatiest characters in this game. So I really cannot think about a really good stage because now Zilla can also be basically in the air, be on the platform, yeah. uh, while having access to the oh. entire But he has a Oh, he does yeah, but Oh, wait. He thought he had a seat on Nero, I think. So Nero. Taking the first stock off here. This is a tournament game. For yeah. Uh, I'm going to get my Yep. Left, possibly left. Yep. And Nero just playing patient here. Not really rushing in headlong against Dinlon. That's really been what's been benefiting the most in this matchup. Yeah. Sour spot fair train scared me almost more than like, like hard hit fair train. Yeah. It's like how many you can get hit. Yep. Okay. I'll oh. the down smash. Nero's not has been very great at punishing the LPs from Yeah, because Maple isn't invincible during those. You can throw out a hitbox and punish it. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like that right there. Yeah, you literally just been a down smash. Or even an up tilt to get a up tilt up air started. I think he's afraid of the up tilt just not somehow. Yeah. Like, like a low profile situation. Yeah. So, like you said, uh, down smash would be the best option, but. Nero finally taking off that second of three stocks to get to the tournament victory here. But Dinla starting up some here, getting that pressure. Nero able to get back on that top platform and alleviate himself from it. I love how Nero just puts those clouds where he needs to to give himself a safe option to get back. Oh no, absolutely, his cloud is Oh, there we go, nice double smash, getting get the mix up. Uh -oh. That's what I'm saying, the power of the are so disgusting. I know, because they just combo into themselves so well. And then eventually, if you get the power to combo into the strong one, and then you're done. Yeah. But right now, Dinla doing everything he can to keep himself in this. But Nero just sticking with his game plan of just playing patient. Float around him. And Maple starts getting close. Yep. Oh, almost got the up there there. Strong hit with the cloud. Oh, that was there it. it is. He finally punished him. Yeah, like the most Man. clutch way possible. So there you have it, folks. Nero managing to claim victory here. Good games to everyone. This is a fun tournament to commentate and participate in. Yep. Um, shout out to Gummy Smash. Thanks yep. for streaming. We appreciate it. Yep. And uh, shout out to the Michigan Smash scene. And shout out to uh, Showdown. Okay. Yep. Showdown for Showdown Dre. Yep. Um, and thanks to Super Atomic and Dakota for running the tournament. Mostly Super Atomic. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, Nero. Nero. Nero realizing that uh, he can make money in Rivals rather than Smash 4. <laughs> for once, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Nero. He's got that, that gas money. <laughs> I'll let you hop on the mic. Get that. Yeah, we'll get an interview. interview real quick. Yeah, let's get an interview. Oh, you're taking stuff down. Okay. He needs a moment. Oh.